Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing Veldak, well. Veldak, good to see you again. Seems like we're live. Fantastic. All right, let's continue, shall we? Wherein we just set up, hopefully, everything we need uh, with the new system. Nice and clean and easy to follow uh, for dealing with all of the infinite sources that come from core mining that could eventually overflow. Well, one or the other will probably overflow eventually. Um, it's a storage and trashing system where we only trash if it gets very, very full. Um, oh, and apparently we are trashing rare metals. Uh, okay. Rare metals. That's over here. So because this was full for a moment, uh, we did summon a vanilla train to pick it up and take it to the trash. That tracks, actually. Rare metals... Uh, from core mining, we were absolutely overflowing with rare metals until we progressed quite a bit more earlier in the game. I don't need to copy-paste those trees. Get out of here. Little purple spots on the map. And things alive, indeed. West Yax, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's a surprising amount of uranium, but I did calculate. This can do 0.4 uranium per second. And if all of our core fragment processing was going all the time, it would only be 0.169. So we should be fine. should be. Uh, but yeah, what I really want to do today is have a laser focus on getting, uh, just focusing on building our rail block science. Um, and I want to go straight for spaceships. I want to build as many data card, etc., whatever we need, blocks in the rail network, in space, uh, today. Um, I'm not going to be tempted to go for Astro 3 in the spaghetti science. We're going to go straight for that because I really want to start getting outposts on some of these other planets. Um, but I don't want to do any more... I don't want to do any more cargo rockets. Okay, let's go. How can I help? Um, cheerleading? Fat boy not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So, so far for material science, uh, we do already have the material insight here because I decided to do one half block for these two. And they share a lot in common. Um with the input resources and output and everything. I'll continue drinking and figure out dinner. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, Merry Christmas to everyone, by the way. Well, I guess, I don't know. I heard, I, I didn't actually check the time zones, but from what some, uh, from what I think it was Mike Light was saying earlier, it sounds like it's over for most people now. Um, I saw some streams had much bigger numbers than usual yesterday. <laughs> Maybe I should have streamed. Okay. Oh, well. It wasn't really an option. I had somewhere I had to be. Um, But yeah, let's jump into the editor. Figure out... I think we've got two more data cards to go for Material Catalog 1. We've already done Hot and Cold. We need Tensile and Compressive. I wonder if... I mean, I seriously doubt it. But I wonder if we could build that with... Uh, pretty much the same shape. We do have one fluid in, one fluid out here. We're looking at mechanical facilities, which are the same size and shape. Four physical inputs... 
Uh, and a few physical outputs, obviously. We'll need a bit more belt space, but we might be able to pull this off. Stealing from ourselves somewhat. Um, so we want speed... F 4 speed 3 modules. And tensile strength data. Wait. Oh no, it does use that. Okay. Um, so it's like it's actually one input on one side, load wise, and every output on the other side, which is different. Uh, ever, oh, the other uh, the output is on all three other sides, which is not something I've noticed before or remembered, I guess. But it shouldn't complicate things too much. Excuse me. Okay. Let's remove these inputs and outputs. Probably easier to start from scratch. Is that in the wrong spot? It is. I'll probably keep the inserters where they are, though. So, just the fluids. What kind of raid are we looking at? Significantly less than half a belt for each. We need to recycle iridium plate. I'll use a swap chest in between these two for that. Like we've done before. Fluids are very slow. Oh, 24 scrap out. 24, 28, call it 29 per second out. That's totally fine. And our outputs, our physical outputs are just scrap plus our um, desired uh, tensile strength data. So this will be regular scrap right here. Let me just empty it another way so I don't have to redo this bit. Uh, and the output fluid, of course, will be contaminated cosmic water. Alright, can I just do it this way? Mostly, yes. Pretty easy, actually. I feel like this is more symmetrical. Uh, and we're obviously going to need extra input belt. So this one can go over here. We'll need to make room for one, two, three, four outputs. Um, I could do this one like so, but I think I'd rather just... have the symmetry of that. Fantastic. So then... Uh, lubricant is obviously going to be pretty straightforward. Does that really not reach? No. Ah. Oh. That makes me a little sad. And belt down to the end. Oh, if I do it this way. Hmm. If I do it this way, I can't have the usual pattern of inserters. I kind of like this. 
Will it reach? It won't reach that far. I could do it like this. And then this would look like that. And I think all of this would just be flipped around like so. That's not too bad. I can live with that. Copy, paste, flip. Gonna need more scaffolding. course let's do the filters before we copy paste this so we need uh i definitely want material inside closest not that it should make that much difference well not inside uh testing pack it's 0.68 per second per machine i don't think it really matters testing pack and then everything else is just one each Let's do the steel, and then a blank data card, iridium plate, blank data card, iridium plate, fantastic, cool, cool, cool. Uh, 24, does this other recipe output scrap, or what? What was the other recipe? Uh, compressive strength data. We also need mechanical facilities for this. Oh, it looks like the mirror image of this recipe. I bet I can just... I bet I can pretty much just copy-paste what we just did and change the recipe. Except I want to flip this part around. Come to think of it, uh, it's fine. So this goes here. This goes here. Why can't I... Oh, whoops. There's actually a good reason for that. What? Oh, now I'm going too far. <sighs> Why am I like this? Okay, remove inserters, put inserters. Not complicated. There we go. Alright, so this recipe instead is going to be, I believe it was compressive strength data. Yes, it is. Are they going to have the same rate or something? 10 seconds, 10 seconds, yeah, probably. Oh, they're exactly the same. Look at that. Pretty much just swap out a couple of the... Uh, a couple of the symbols here. Cool, cool, cool. The perfect recipe to have um, side by side. Both of these just need lubricant. We don't need that much. Um, so I could probably just have the one fluid drop off. 
We do need these two. How many tiles is this? Five? Oh, I see. Yeah, this doesn't line up the same. Okay, that's fine. Let's just put this here. And we don't need this one. I'm sure, except for material testing packs, we're not going to need that many trains. So it shouldn't matter if we only have the one drop-off for lubricant. We are looking at more than one belt of scrap. We've already got this set up for this even. Nice. Alright, so this is going to be... Uh, tensile strength data, and this is going to be compressive strength data. Did that underground on the top reach? No, it's one off. How many tiles is this? Eight. There's no elegant way to do eight. I mean, there's a five and a three, but that's... That makes me a little sad. Fine. I'll have to do. Alternatively... Would that have reached? No. Never mind. Maybe this would look tidier. We've already got the scaffolding there for it anyway. But then... This needs to connect here anyway. You know what? That would probably be tidier over here, wouldn't it? Except now this looks weird. I don't feel like that's an improvement. Oh, did they output the same contaminated cosmic water? Thank goodness. Alright. So we copy paste this, we change some of the filters. In fact, we only change one of the filters. Steel becomes concrete. Two other undergrounds on the right need to be moved down. Two other undergrounds on the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Fantastic. Bilbo? Uh, Philip D? Uh, D? What? Philip B? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's do some test inputs. Luckily, we only need four physical inputs per recipe. So we can do it the easy way. We're going to set filters blacklist on these two inserters. And then we are going to shift right click, shift left click. And that's all it takes. And of course the lubricant we can put in this way. I should bear in mind uh, to do this in a spot where we don't need an extra piece of scaffolding in future. It was easier this time because we're basing this off of previous design. Um, and apparently we've still got... Oh, right, I see. Let's 
just empty that for the moment. Alright, let's get rid of our voiding. And I sort of kind of forgot to do the thing with the iridium plate. Whoops. Minor detail. Alright, where are we going to fit our little swappy chests? Uh, probably right where these inserters are. Actually, no, because we need input and output between each machine. Or pair of machines. The outside ones are easy enough, but the inside ones are going to be tricky. Um, can we stop this for a minute? No, oh, whatever. Alright, so I want to have something like this, I guess. Filter inserters. I could just put everything in the output chest and then have a filtered space loader or two take from it. Except we've got two items that we want to take. Uh, so I'd have to have two loaders taking from the strong boxes. Working on material science as well, indeed. Some of it gets interesting. The two other underground for lube. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So I could either do separate inserters to output. Um, scrap and tensile. It's not going to be difficult to solve, it's just a question of... Uh, which... Which I'm happier with. What's our overall rate per machine for output? 2.34 per second? 2.38? We can probably do that with just a filter inserter, even though it's two separate uh, resources. Um, and then filter inserter output for Iridium Plate. And input inserter for Iridium Plate. And even without any smarts, um, if we're only getting Iridium Plate back 25% of the time, this should be kept empty without any real effort on our part. So I could lay it out kind of like we did with, uh, what's it called? Enriched Vulcanite? Or I could do some filter inserters to output everything but... I wish I could just do a blacklist on the space loader. Oh wait, I can do two filters on this. No, oh, I take everything back. Yeah, we can just uh ten style and scrap. Uh and we can just output everything into this chest with reckless abandon. Cool, cool, cool. And we should be able to do it something like this. Uh, we do need a I.O. chest for each pair of machines. Uh, and this one might be a little tricky. I'll just have to move some of the pipes. Actually... Oh. Yeah, it's because of the beacon that this is tricky. Hmm. Hmm. 
Well, we kind of want to have room for two loaders here. Uh, or I could use stack filter inserters, blacklist, um, iridium. And put these close together. That way I could move this up one tile. I don't love that, especially considering we're getting half a belt of scrap. I can't move these. Well, I could I could make it taller. I don't particularly want to have to do that after being able to copy the layout this far, but it might be the best way to go. So if this was up one tile and this was down one tile, we just have the the fluid connections like this. I think I do like that better. It would mean that this reaches, except then it'd still just be like this anyway. Um, and these ones down one tile. So, should be able to make the whole thing symmetrical. Uh, these aren't going to reach without some help. Yeah, that, uh, that should basically be it. Like that. Think. this for the filters. Make sure it all fits under the beacon still. Just barely. I also could have done the fluid output from here somehow. Um, if I was going to do that. Also, also, these need to connect somewhere. There we go. How much is in here? Uh, 240. That's not connected. Because there's no underground here. 286. Fantastic. Um, and we'll probably do the exact same sh I almost said sheep exact same shape down here. Uh, and I don't even need to change any settings or anything on this. We just put every... Oh, wait, I do need to change this one to compressive strength data. 
since we don't have a set filters blacklist. In fact, let me just remove all of these to make absolutely sure that I'm going to get them all. Seems good. Why is this one up here like that? Oh, something's not right. Something is amiss. How? Because I haven't actually moved the machines yet, that's why. Damn it, scaffolding. Okay, and we should be able to copy this stuff. That's uh, starting to look pretty good. Is that actually everything? I feel like I must have... I must be missing one or two little details still. Let's test it. It's looking pretty good. Iridium plate hovering at approximately what? Oh, there's no lubricant. Why is there no lubricant? Because this doesn't reach. Okay, looks like every machine is in motion. And then we just need to connect... I guess this will need an underground. Let's get some more scaffolding over here. Uh, maybe like this, actually. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That won't fit elegantly, though, will it? Uh, I guess we can just mirror what we did over here. What's 15 plus 6? 21? Oh, that was 9 plus 6. 15. I feel like that's a little tidier. Alright, let's check our fluid count. 1.2k... Seems like all of our output fluid is connected. If I delete from it, we see it all disappear. And obviously our input fluid is connected, otherwise machines would not be working. Don't need these pumps. If we don't need these pumps, how many tiles is this? 7, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18.
Wait, that's two nines. Kyun, good morning, Merry Chris uh, Christmas, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Liquid out for second row, yes indeed. Okay. I think that's probably our build. Cool, cool, cool. Now we need to do catalogs. Well, catalogs will be a copy-paste job. Because we've done energy catalogs. Uh, tensile and compressive. Snap to grid, remove cheat items. 86.25.1. And then... Oh, I haven't done the train stations. So this one we do want to fill up endlessly. Uh, it's going to be scrap and contaminated cosmic water. And that's all good. These ones we limit to 50 stacks per wagon, plus 40 in here. Fantastic. Uh, tensile strength data and impressive strength data. To what model module tier do you plan to upgrade in the future? Uh, I think I might go for nines this time. We'll see. We'll see. I definitely want to try to keep the UPS higher and muck around more in the late game. Like, post-victory this time. Uh, okay, so there's four resources. Uh, I've calculated this before. We can safely bring in 1.5 trainloads of stuff for each resource. Um... Blank data card, 10k would be 2, I think. Uh, yep, 7,500. 150 times 10 is obviously 1,500. Uh, what else? Steel, plate, and iridium. Well, let's do the iridium first. Iridium plate, 40 times 150 is 6k. And steel, 150 times 100. I think we can calculate without a calculator. And then lubricant. Just 100k should be fine. We don't go through it that quick. We'll request more when we're down to 40k. Alright, I'm going to copy-paste edit these settings here. Instead of steel, we want concrete. One fifty hundred, And that should be our LTN settings. Now we just do the station names. Lubricant. Uh, tensile strength. And we also need iridium plate. And steel. Copy, paste, edit that. Oh, the machine is different. Hold on. Instead of a laser facility going into a mech facility. And this one is compressive. Don't need lubricant. And instead of steel, it's concrete. Uh, 
as our station names. Whoops. And we've got our wires and stuff. All good. One to six machines for each material card type, because my math says that material data cards require one to six machines to sustain 2.2k SPM. All material cards together spit out nine deep belts of scrap. Jeez. 3.5 belts of contaminated scrap. Yep, that's material. Uh, so it was tensile and compressive. Data. And I think I already removed all the cheat items. Fantastic. Double check the snap to grid. Seems good to me. And let's put it down here. Okay. Uh, before I go copy-pasting and slightly editing energy catalogs, let's get the construction train uh, to work over here. What's going on? Oh, it's just working. Cool, cool, cool. The trains, for the most part, get loaded and unloaded so quickly that I'm not used to seeing them parked at a station, and I just assume something's wrong. All right. Uh, so this one also needs a lot of testing packs, um, which are stored here. I think hereabouts should be fine. Why did I put this this far to the right? What was I going to put here, I wonder? Who knows? I think this will do. Except then, if I put it here, we'll have, like, those four data cards in the same order they appear down here next to it. It doesn't matter. Don't be silly. Alright. We need approximately... 3.2k scaffold. It's going to take two trips. I'm not surprised by this. Let's park our train here. Wait for inactivity, and then park our train here again. After it's already been here once and resupplied, and give it a wait condition that it will not meet, so that we can make it... Oh, I meant to put it here. Whatever. Uh, make it wait until... Uh, we're ready to give it some more orders. I will give it a spot to park on the way back to drop off some solar panels, though. Right then, let's clear this out. Uh, I did blueprint it, I did, just placed that blueprint, right? Yes. And we'll paste in energy catalog. And just change the recipes and inputs. Material catalog one. Material catalog two. Filters. Uh, Cold, hot, tensile, compressive. Left to right in order. Compressive. Copy, paste, flip. For the symmetry. And this one's going to be the next four data cards. R I'm pretty sure. Rigidity. Uh, corrosion. 
impact shielding and friction. Rigidity, pressure, corrosion, impact. Rigidity, corrosion, impact, friction. No, friction should be pressure. Let's just do it in the order of the recipe. Rigidity, pressure. Pressure. Did I skip it by accident? Uh, corrosion, impact. I think I did. Rigidity, pressure, corrosion, impact. Yeah, that should be right. Miklat, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Spoken hot snakes. Pogchamp, fantastic indeed. Elevator considered middle? Uh, yes. I mean, I might put in more elevators eventually, but for the moment, um, especially low, uh, low stack size things that come from the ground, we really want um, stuff that consumes material testing packs, for example, very, very close. Um, and then we just need to do the train stop names and requests. And I will double check, even though I'm sure... Output is 25 degree thermofluid, and input is negative 100. Fantastic. Uh, and this one is broad catalog. All right. Broad catalog. This one, this one, this one, and this one. Uh, and obviously we'll need to update these. Rigidity. Pressure. Corrosion. And impact. easier than I thought it would be. This is material catalog one. Cold hot tensile and compressive. Cold hot tensile and compressive. Fantastic. Easy as that. Then you place the new block closer than closest purple? Um, well, yeah, probably. I don't have a super strict idea of what I want to do with the general layout um, so far. I, I, I want cardinal directions from the elevator to have room for depots and stuff. And maybe some stuff that I didn't realize that I would need to squeeze in somewhere. Uh, and then the different quadrants are going to be the different sciences broadly. I do have a bunch of, like, general stuff to the top left so far, but that's not that big of a deal. Alright, I think that's our blueprint. Let's go... Catalog 1 and 2. Broad Catalog 1 and 2. And I don't think I really need to test it. Snap to grid is fine. Rotation is fine. And let's go place it in the world. But first, our train is still not ready to place this? What? 
Oh, you uh, must have placed some more scaffolding somewhere else. Uh-oh. What's this? Oh, I've still been neglecting my defenses. Anyway. Uh, apparently we need to make one more trip. Yeah, no, this placement's fine. Right, back to the mall. And come back here. And await further orders. How's our power? Oh, it's totally fine for the moment. The solar pan panels that I've got connected up here can't support the whole thing if it's all going full speed, but for now it's totally fine. That's our thermo fluid. Not bad. Oh, I kind of disabled this, didn't I? Yeah, we're actually doing alright. Maybe I should move these over, like, one tile, just so I can put a pump here and have decision-making to balance between negative uh, 100 and negative 273. What was the bonk for? What was the bonk for? Oh, give me that fuel. Alright, uh, once more to the editor. Con train? Con train? What? Instruction train. It's, it, it should be here. It still has no scaffolding? That shouldn't be possible. Alright, just go back. I, I don't think it's getting loaded before it leaves. It should be waiting for five seconds of inactivity. Oh, are we short on something? Didn't ever go back? It should have gone back. Uh, I guess I should do some biter hunting. Grumble, grumble. Why didn't I do this sooner? Get in there. In fact, give me this as well. Okay. I like the heavy rocket launcher, except that combat mechanics overhaul has it blowing up in my face because of a tiny twig that's a hundred meters well, maybe 10 meters below my feet. Um, I'm not a fan of that. Screwed it up when you set the new stop. No. Uh, what was I coming back for? Artillery. They are in here. Somewhere. There we go. Uh, and I'm going to need some artillery ammo. I thought I already picked some up. Did we stop making it? Artillery shell. Oh, they're in here. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be using the tank that much. It's Pretty over, uh, underwhelming, if I'm totally honest. I'll put these fancy turrets in here as well. Especially with how overpowered the vanilla spit is from the, uh, from the biters. Literally, like, two things can spit at the tank and immediately die. And the tank will eventually take damage... 
Well, not not even eventually. It, it'll take a bunch of damage that the shields can't keep up with just from the damage over time from the spit. Whoops. All right. Let's go say hello to the biters. Fix up our walls a little bit. Push them back past the pollution cloud, which is shockingly large. Why is it centered around here? Oh, it's kind of centered around our... Uh, our copper mine, but the... There's a bunch of water up north that does not block pollution very well. Or it, I think it does less than nothing for blocking pollution. Maybe. Either way, it's a lot worse than soil, basically. I think to start with... We'll just fix this up. Add some more lasers. Why do I have... Why is it acting like I have two construction bots? Don't have any walls handy, that's not good. Alright, um... Maybe I should just steal some of these. not in range? I guess not. If you do a pollution filter block, I bet it would be okay. Yeah, probably. I'd have to do it all the way up here, though. But maybe it's less work overall. Let's grab our targeting remote. Uh, oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> the manual range compared to the automatic range is crazy. Hold up. Hold hold on a minute. I want to I want to check something here. Um Crap, I left it back at home. I wanted to confirm, oh, I can do it remotely. Artillery. I'm pretty sure someone mentioned this now that I think of it. But I want to make sure, I don't believe you can use the manual remote to get more range out of the laser turrets. No, you cannot. Uh, the laser artillery. Alright, cool. That's, well, it's not cool, but I'm kind of glad I didn't waste a trip. Alright. Let's snipe some spawners. Now I'm wishing for that mod that Mucky uses for the artillery remotes. I don't know if it does find the most efficient distribution of shells though. Uh, 
Hopefully we're not overdoing it here. I'm sure we are. Are they going to come here, or are they going to go that way? I bet they're going to go to the left. Yep, 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 yep. That should be fine. I just have to dance around in front of them to minimize the damage to the walls. Boovin, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do I need to potentially... I think I do. Oh boy, okay. Where am I? I, I did not realize they would crash through that quickly. I thought I'd get a few moments to get a feel for whether I would need these. Do I not have repair packs? Uh, apparently not. Apparently we went through them already. Okay. I really don't want to have to set up um, supply chains for bots and repair packs and stuff. Defending Nalvis. I'd rather just push the non-expanding biters back past the pollution cloud. I should probably just put some efficiency modules in those miners. Definitely. Okay, that should probably be enough for now. Damsel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Pollution spreads over the lake like cold creeps into the US over the lakes. Indeed. Merry Christmas. Indeed. Baby tea hacks. Why am I baby tea hacks? Cut and true. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I've seen the tank clear up after Adi. That looked quick slash effective. It's really easy to lose the tank. It's so slow. I don't know, blame Larius? Is it Larius' fault? I thought it was my cloud or someone. But should I blame the person who started the meme or the person who continues it? Hmm. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Let's blame Mike. Zern, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Almost died there. That was spooky. Okay, I may have bitten off a little more than I can chew. Uh, that might have been a bit more aggressive than it needed to be with the artillery. But it looks like this is the last wave. Use the water. Oh, oh, the sand. I didn't see the sand. Oh, I've only got 25 bots. That's why. Okay. Okay. No more challenges?
I think. There's no spawners here. Okay, I think we might have got them back as far as the pollution cloud, maybe. Might get a trickle of biters coming from here. No, it's going to be more than a trickle. Am I safe? Let me just get on the water. Can we reach here? We actually can. Alright. That's a lot. I'm sure it'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, I kind of wasted a shell there. How's your base doing? Uh, pretty good. Except for the fact that I'm on Nalvis. The worst of all places. Uh, but yeah, I'm my goal for today is to power towards everything we need for, uh, uh, what is it called? Everything we need for spaceships, uh, in the rail network in, in orbit, uh, as quickly as I can. We've got energy too, we've got material too, basically. Uh, I need to make sure I don't miss this. Where are the biters going to come from? Oh. Is th oh, that's more what I was expecting to see. Did I actually pan past that? Oh, and we've got a few remaining up here. There we go. That should probably be all it takes. Stinky Narvis, yeah. People complained that there was a notification that a train was out of fuel. Maybe I should just turn off all the trains here. No, I do want the trickle of... Uh, I haven't actually set up delivery of core fragments. Maybe I should do that, but... Then again, why would I? I've got it set up so that it's sending... Uh, iron, copper, and steel plate, and coal, and stuff. That's probably a lot better density, obviously. I do eventually want to convert it into just a small outpost that sends us core fragments, like every other outpost will be. That's a big one. But yeah, I really don't want to get stuck on Nalvis, uh, chasing one squirrel after another for what is supposed to be a temporary base. Alright, are there any more biters coming in sizes that I need to personally address? I think it's just this one little group. Let's go say hello to them, see if I can meet them while I've still got my drones out. Just turn off the notifications, problem solved. Indeed. Spaceship hype? Yes. All of the spaceship. I'm going to have spaceships before I have Spidertrons this playthrough. Which is not that surprising, considering I can... Uh, considering I have construction trains, basically. Speaking of which, are you loaded? Yes, you are. Beautiful. Come park yourself down here indefinitely. And I need to give it orders once the scaffolding has been placed. Meanwhile, we continue to make hot and cold data. Beautiful. 
How many uh, packs does it take? It takes four material packs to make one data. That's not that bad. As far as testing packs go. Only took hundreds of hours? What mod are those train loaders from? Uh, they are called Bulk Rail Loader. Wouldn't some spiders help speed up the clearing of those bases? Yes and no. I'm trying to just put it off until I have um, energy beaming. I do already have Iridium pile drivers very slowly clearing out. Is this not the build that I was about to put here? Oh, I remember. I was going to do tensile and compressive. And I didn't bring the mechanical facilities. Rip. We need 24. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is where I usually put them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mechanical facility. And maybe I could do the servers on the same trip. Probably not. We'd need too much scaffolding. Well, it's one stack. Why don't I make sure that gets loaded? Can't remember how many this is. Uh, 24, actually. Whoops. Knuncle and Master of My Fate. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did we get this build mostly done? More or less, yes. It, we often need to take two trips for belts. Let's resupply. Come back here again. And wait for inactivity. And the whole thing should be done, except for the beacons, which I don't care about yet. Cool, cool, cool. I wonder if, uh, now that I look at it, I bet there's enough of a path for Spidertrons to make their way around this base because of the scaffolding for the solar panels. It probably wouldn't be that UPS friendly though because they hate walking across solar panels. Um, it seems to be the worst possible world of finding a bunch of tiles where they can't put their feet and they can only put them between these ones. Uh, so the search function to find where they can put their feet is very, very slow, very inefficient. Uh, are we still core mining? Yes, we are. Fantastic. Oh. Um... I didn't even know it was in motion, it's just really, really slow. Do we have electricity? We do. Okay. I think I should put down some more solar panels and put a couple of beacons here. I know we can do a lot more than eight core fragments per second. How many drills do we have? Oops. We've got... four. For a total rate of 45 core fragments per second. Yeah, we should really speed this up a bit. Uh, let's spam some more solar panels. Shh. 
shove in some accumulators, because why not? I had fun with glaives. 13 glaives clear a moon in several hours. Several hours? Not several minutes? Or are we talking about like a 100% bite a threat large-ish moon? Uh, alright. Is this getting built now? Kinda. Wait, you didn't even place more belt? How is... It... It had to put... It had to have belt the first time. And it's waiting for inactivity. Oh, I also don't have 2x2 two two chests. We need, like, 16, I think. Can we fit those in here? One stack should be more than enough. Let's actually keep an eye on it and see what happens. 100% bite a threat moon with a radius of 2750. Okay, fair enough. That's about as big as a moon gets, right? How big do they get? Horizon effect. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, do we not make those here? Uh, we do not. Let's make some. This won't be the last time that we need some strong boxes. I needed the moon as a source for uranium after barbecue was done. Marked the surface as clear and trimmed the tr <laughs> trimmed the surface, indeed. Can you explain how your construction train works? Uh, sure. So basically, the reason I empty it before I reload it, usually, is because we can read the contents of the entire train, but we can't read the contents of individual cargo wagons. Um, so to get things loaded precisely, we want to start from zero, basically. Um, but that said, why do we have... Yeah, the bots aren't evenly distributed either. Well, let's, let's demonstrate this right now. So, I want... I want exactly 50 bots in each cargo wagon. Why are we... oh, traffic. Fair enough. Uh, so I can load the bots from these containers. Why do you only have 24? Is this why this has been happening? Huh. Fascinating. Yeah, we've got no more construction bots here. We've actually got flying robot frames already, because we use those to repair the destroyed bots. Uh, how about we make sure we make some more? And while we're waiting for that, I'll explain. Construction bot... make sure we have up to t uh, 200 at least. And I'll put a passive provider for flying robot frames. Um, did I ever... I don't think I ever made a rail block for those this playthrough, did I? Because they don't get spammed into science uh, in the same way. Yeah, I didn't. I think you can prod module them though, right? Apparently I haven't done that. But throughput I'm keeping to a minimum though, because... With almost no exceptions, we're not going over the 50 Logibots and having them crash. Anyway. At least not yet. Uh, that is our... Construction bots getting made. Fantastic. And 
I'll need to make an exception for this here. But it's allowed to be in this chest. This thing's going to be a bit slow, though. That's a little bit better. Oh, the requester chest is... Uh, I kind of need that request chest to not include flying robot frames. There we go. Okay. So basically, uh, for the construction bots, what's supposed to happen is we have at least one stack in each of these chests at any given time. The empty train rolls in, and then... These all swing at exactly the same time with the same stack size uh, until the same condition is met, until there's 150 construction bots in the train. Uh, again, unfortunately, we can't check if like each cargo wagon has 50 bots. So if there are bots like crawling back because they didn't have room to get back in the train earlier, they'll come back in here eventually. Um... Unless I make, like, a timed system to empty the train of bots and then put them back in or something. Uh, it's not going to be that easy. But uh, the main thing that you want to know here is we have three... We have, a, per wagon, we have one buffer warehouse. Uh, we've got a red wire connected to that from these constant combinators. This side's just an input, so it's really just these two constant combinators. And we are setting requests for everything that we're trying to put into the train. Uh, into the cargo wagon whenever the train comes back. We take from these positive numbers, um, that green wire goes here. Uh, anything greater than zero output anything just picks one of these signals at a time. The other uh, the other input here is subtracting what is in the train. So that red wire right there, as far as we're concerned, is just reading uh, train contents. So whatever's in the train, subtracted from whatever we want to be in the train. Uh, and I make sure to put different things in different cargo wagons. Uh, this stuff here is just to say... If there's more than 72 of something that we're trying to put into the train, we'll allow all of these to swing with no stack limit. It's just a simple way to do it faster. Uh, and then once we're below 72, um, we just have the one stack inserter, which also gets the number of things we're trying to put into the train times one output as S. Uh, set stack size, control signal S on this inserter here, and always we're setting filters for whatever we're trying to put into the train. That's pretty much it. The rest is uh, window dressing, fancy stuff. Uh, this thing here, let's see. Uh, this is subtracting everything that's supposed to be in the train, plus whatever's in the train get the difference between that and we're setting filters whitelist to remove stuff from the train that's not supposed to be in there. Uh, and then over here we've got... we're just detecting the S, set stack size S from all of these. Like If we're still trying to load anything into the train, this is going to get an S signal, which it still is actually because we don't have 40 strong boxes still. Strangely enough, we've got 38. Why are we not still trying to make strong boxes if we're... Didn't I set the target to 40? Yeah, 40 strong boxes. We've got 45. Oh, are they all in a buffer chest? And that's why they're not getting summoned over here? They are. Because I put these as prereqs because we might make the larger 
containers. Okay, that makes sense. Easy fix for this. Uh, we'll just double the amount that we're asking for from the auto crafter. So 40 can be in here, and 40 can be in here. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we're detecting... Well, you can see positive numbers from here for everything we're still tr trying to put into the cargo wagon. Um, including the two strong boxes. Um, this thing will output just the strong boxes. It's just an arbitrary ordering of signals based on, what's it called? Item ID. Uh, the same order they appear in, th in these places in the crafting menus and stuff. Oh, there it goes. Uh, and yeah, we're just multiplying by one, converting it to S for stack size for this one inserter. Uh, but we let all of these go fast if we're trying to put more than 72 in. Uh, and then over here we've just got basically a bit of shenanigans with signal timing so that only the moment the train finishes being loading, we get a signal over here. Uh, so we take S greater than zero output signal one. That goes to this thing. And then uh, if signal one greater than zero output signal two, because wires transport, uh, transfer information instantly, but combinators take one tick to receive an input and then do an output, uh, basically, we get one tick of two greater than one. What? We get signal one, and then we get signal two and signal one. And this says signal two greater than signal one? Did I change that? Or am I, like, miss calculating how this works. I know this one's set up to give us that notification. And that still says 2 greater than 1. Let's see, we, re we receive signal S. One tick later, this is outputting signal 1. And one tick after that, we're getting signal 1 and signal 2. Or do we stop receiving signal S? Yeah, yeah, no, I think we stop receiving signal S the moment... We're currently receiving signal S because we're trying to load the train. So once that stops being the case... So we're receiving signal S, this is S equals zero, the light goes on. Uh, we are outputting signal one, we are outputting signal two. When we stop receiving S, this will stop outputting, and then one tick later this will stop outputting. So 2 will be greater than 1 for 1 tick. Uh, and that's when we'll receive our notification. And I forgot to get the auto crafter to make mechanical facilities. That's why we've been waiting this long. Um, so can we just make those without any... Without adding anything else? Probably. I don't know if we have gun turrets in here. I don't think we do. Gun turret. And I'm pretty sure we're not making the gun turrets here yet either. Um, turret. We are not. Okay. Let's allow gun turrets to be in that big old chest. And there it is. Gun turrets, mechanical facilities. And then they're going to get put in here. Until we have 25. I will need over 600 shiny rocks per minute. Which ones are the shiny rocks? Uranium, okay. Why are you loading from buffer chests and not requesters? Uh, because 
I want to be able to remove stuff from here. Um, if I change my mind about what's going into the train. I mean, it'll take a while for this to get completely full. I don't actually have a mechanism to deliberately empty it. But, um... I, I do change my mind somewhat about what I'm putting in the train. Like, for instance... Most of the time I'm not going to need these space train power packs, so maybe we just shouldn't waste a couple of stacks on them, like, all the time. Same goes for receivers. And probably boilers as well, actually. Alright, what are we looking for? A few more mechanical facilities. Bottlenecking on turrets, I'm not surprised. Do we have the LDS? Yes, we do. Alright, cool. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's basically how this thing works. Um, I would also like to... Let's maybe put them here. Material catalog. How about here, actually? What the? No. Bad. Material catalog. I think I'll put here. Why do I keep doing that? Okay. Once more with feeling. Don't press N again. Shift click. There we go. How much scaffolding is this? Way too much. 3,000. How much do I have in the train? 1.5k. Probably put a little bit more in to make sure. Because it doesn't show... When I point at that and it says 3,000, it could be like... 3,075 or something. Alright, let's park ourselves... About here. Should be in range to build both of those blocks. Kind of looking forward to replacing subs some of the substation pylons with radar construction pylons just so we always have vision through here. Anyway, here comes our train. Yoba, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Should be able to get this done this time. I think. Probably. Here it comes. That'll probably be our first tensile data. Well, not actually our first. We've done a bunch of it in the spaghetti science. But first tensile data in the rail network. Very nice. And we'll definitely need to make another trip to get this scaffolding done. So I don't know why I was setting that to a low, uh, low amount of inactivity, actually. Let's try this again, actually. Let's get the train to go back and resupply, and then come back with scaffolding. It should work this time, because it's not going to reach its inactivity condition without getting fully loaded. Uh, technically, I could set it up so that... Oh, I think I've thought about this before. I could set it up so this train doesn't leave here until S equals zero. 
Maybe both, actually, just to be safe. But... I think the problem was getting the S signal over here. Just because we've only got two wire colors. Uh, and this, this is already a red wire. And this is a red wire. I guess I could change this one to green? No, we've got green going down here. I'd probably end up having to change a lot of wire colors or add a bunch of arbitrary combinators just to separate signals to get this S signal all the way back here. Would it be a problem if there was an S signal on this red wire? Actually. Yes? No, maybe. Um, if these things were outputting S, and we're setting filters, setting filters don't care about S, but then this one would still output S when there was nothing else left. It could create a loop. Yeah, I don't... I don't think I can do it that way. Not without adding an arbitrary combinator basically just to separate the signal, or do a lot of changing of wire colors. But then I could make sure the train doesn't automatically leave this station without... Um, without a good reason. I kind of want to change this S to green, just so I can use colors on this. I'll do it after the train leaves. Oh, wait. Did the train get fully loaded? I didn't hear the da 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 How much... I think it has 1500 scaffolding. I'm still probably trying to put in strong boxes or something. Alright, let's do it, actually. So I'm going to change this to signal green. We're going to change these to set stack size green. And we're going to change this to green equals zero. That's not going to work. I'd have to add combinators. I'm not going to do that. Let's just change those back. I don't... I, I do like to try to keep the combinator count down as much as I can. But that said, I think it's worth adding... One more signal over here. So on the red wire, we need a signal to tell the train that it can leave. That doesn't interfere with item count. Come to think of it, doesn't this thing receive a T signal? Read stopped train T times negative one. Oh, it's only it's only the positive signals that go in here that matter. So actually, the S wouldn't have caused a problem. I think. Why don't we just try it and see what happens? It's either going to be a momentary disaster, or it's not. S equals zero. Alright, so... Yeah, there's a big negative S signal here, just like the T signal. And that's never going to get passed through. Which means we're not going to get a loop of S signals. 
Which means we can accomplish this without a new combinator or new wire colors or anything. Pretty sure. Um, I really want to test it right now, but I think the train's going to leave. Let me just send it straight back to the same station. Don't need to empty it if all that we've been putting in it is exactly what already belongs in it. So yeah, even if we try to put in something that we can't... Let me just set this to a lot of inactivity. Because once it's finished loading, I want to I want to offer something to it that it can't put in here. Let's say... Um, what, what's an item that we don't find? Oh, I know. Wait, no, I don't. Uh, quarry drills? We don't have any quarry drills. There we go. So it's asking for quarry drills in this train. Uh, S equals zero is never going to happen. For that reason, specifically. And as soon as we remove this, it recognizes that the train is fully loaded. And off it goes. Cool. So now we can be confident that if we schedule our train to make three loops or something, uh, it's not going to come back if it doesn't actually fill up again with scaffolding. Very cool. Alright, are we still missing any floor here? It looks like we're actually done. Nice. And this was catalogs, yes. Catalogs. I love watching T-Hacks during work. Thank you. And we even brought the servers. I think we don't have enough belts to get this all done in one go, though. So we'll wait for inactivity, empty, fill up again, and we pr I probably don't need to use the emptier so often when we're building in space, actually, because it's not like we're picking up rocks and wood and stuff. If we're deconning anything and returning... Well, we do have some imbalanced bots. Maybe we can fix that now. Uh, did we get any more bots built here? I'm sure I saw a couple. 50, 50, 50. Cool, cool, cool. So we should get exactly 50 robots in each cargo wagon this time. I think the train's clogged. Um, it shouldn't be, it just came back from... Oh, you mean this? Oh, no. I forgot to remove the thermofluid request from that one. There should be enough room in here. Also, I didn't actually put signals on either side here. One job. Oh no. Uh, I would have to move this combinator. I think it's probably fine if this is just one rail sector. With how quickly we unload here, it, it should be fine. That intersection looks great, thank you. I mean, because of the rate that we consume the data cards is incredibly slow here. What is it, like... At the moment, at least. Um, 0.6 times 4. 2.4 per second. Uh... 
it would take 2,083 seconds. Or 34 minutes. 8.68 minutes per train. Cut that into... If there's data cards coming in from this side as well. You know what, it's probably just bad practice to have... To not split these up. Maholic? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, what are we waiting for? Delivery cannon chests. But I didn't even add any. Oh, is it just the time that it takes this stuff to get put back into the bot network? I think it is. Alright then. Back down we go. Uh, I would actually like you to visit here first, though. Oh, I did the same thing for both of these builds. No, oh, there's a signal here. And there's a... Wait, which one was I looking at? Oh, no. Is this it? It's the new build, Dap. God damn it. Okay. Need some signals here and here. But first, you go up here and get rid of that scaffolding. That looks tidy enough to me. And we still don't have enough belt? How much belt am I asking for? Uh, not enough, apparently. I think I cleared out a few stacks in this one. Yeah, we're only looking for 200. How much do we usually use? This one is 569, 414, 410, uh, let's see if we can't squeeze in 600 belt. I hate Epic. thank you for the follow, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. AK90, good to see you again, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well also. Never got to use them in space, that's new in since 0.6. Uh, what's new in 0.6? The mini loaders? The K2 ones, indeed. Alright, here comes our train. Actually, this would be the perfect use for those rare fast belts that we've got somewhere. Um, are they in the spaghetti? They are. They are. Okay, um, I'll do what I can to get them delivered. How many do I have of each? 257, 200. Red belt's kind of limited. Uh, we'll do... How about cyan deep space belt? Can I upgrade path this? Nope. Hmm, maybe I'm going a little bit too far trying to limit how far the bots have to go here. Then again, maybe not. Oh, of course. Going all the way up this way. Good grief, this actually does take a while to, uh, to unload. And it's doing it in an arbitrary order. Alright, do we have the belts? That's all I really need right now. Yes, yes we do. Go forth and... 
finish this build. And then as soon as this is empty, I'll decon this. Wait, do we have loaders? Uh, I don't think we have... We don't have loaders faster than 45 per second, so there's no point. Hmm. Hmm. I'll probably just leave it as it is. It doesn't take that long, I guess. Alright, build complete, I think. We've already got two of our data cards. Fantastic. The other two, that's actually the same two. Uh, the other two are on their way. Beautiful. That is material two. Or rather... That's everything except for the actual lab part for material two. And I think I want to put that here. Um, so we just... Did the train go back? Yes, it did. Uh, I think I will... Copy-paste this. And jump into the editor. And we'll copy-paste edit, basically. Because it's going to be the exact same layout. Temp energy science pack. We have to go through this changing all from energy to material. But we'll only have to do it once for all four of the Uh, sciences. Insight. That is, of course, if the shape of these recipes is the same, just like in the previous version we played. But I'm pretty sure it is. We'll do some testing before we stop, uh, before we publish. I think I'm still missing a little something that we need to make this work though. Just copy paste this. And once more with feeling. That should just about do it. Alright, so science one needs iridium plate as opposed to holmium plate. Stack size is different though. Uh, 7500 should be a train load and a half. It is. So stack size 40 times 150 stacks is 6000. And the cold thermo fluid stays the same. I think that one's basically done. Iridium plate. Catalog one. Insight. And wait, what? Did I already update that, or was that, like, wrong before for the other build? Uh, let me check real quick. Hmm. 
No, I, I think I, yeah, I went to change it and I put in the wrong thing. Okay, so this should actually be material one, as opposed to the catalog. But we should be dropping off catalog one here, what? I am confused. Oh, I just left it out. Okay. Back to log one. So we got Iridium plate catalog, SIG data, and material insight. I don't think we need any filters on these. We do need this one. And this one. And this one. And this one. This is already correct. And I'll need to change the other input stations as well. That's already done. This is material two. The British robbed all the modules from inside the pyramids? Oh no. Egyptians use trains to transport stone to build pyramids. They use T-Hex labeling system to mark routes. We know it as hieroglyphs now. <laughs> Indeed. Many robots were sacrificed in the construction of this. Is interference lower in space? Uh, it depends how close you are to the... to the sun. But... basically no. Uh, robot interference wind... Well, on Hagen, it's 10.69, that's terrible. In Hagen orbit, it's 1.82, which is nearly double that of Nalvis. Uh, but for orbit, this is extremely good. Um, as we get closer to the sun, generally, it gets worse. At Granis, it is 7.69. In Nalvis orbit, it's 7.11. So we've got the worst planet in the solar system, just about, for... Bot interference, uh, but the best orbit. It should be material three. I don't think I need to change any combinator settings or anything for the pickups. Didn't actually name this one. This is fluid and scrap, or junk data cards. Need to remember to fix that in the world. And this will be material four. Fantastic. Well, that's kind of a lot. All right, it's just the requesters we need to update. One, two, three more of them. Did I do the physical requests here, I believe so. Alright, so this one wants heavy girder and broad catalog of course. Stack size is the same, so we'll steal this number and broad catalog but material. And I think I'll do all the combinators back to back first. Comprehensive catalog. Instead of holmium solenoid, we're looking for heavy bearing. And then extended catalog. And instead of this, we're looking for. Heavy composite. Cool, 
Cool, cool. Now we just need to update our station names. Back to log 2. Uh, and girders. Catalog 3. Oh, I need to also update what it's producing in the station name. Catalog 3. And... was It wasn't bearings, was it? It was. Bearing. This is making... Material to science packs. And this is making material for. Uh, and it's looking for heavy composites. And of course, comprehensive. Oh, extensive, sorry, testing uh, catalogs. Looks good to me. Alright. Oh, I didn't actually have signals up here. So that's two little things I want to update on our existing build already. Alright, let's put in some... Testing stuff. We're going to go with set filters blacklist. I'm going to have to add scaffolding to make this one work. Don't forget the wire connections. Alright, shift right click, shift left. Oh, right, I just realized. Oh, I didn't do the filters for these. So there's that too. This is why we test. Okay, so I want broad catalogs and... Heavy girders. Comprehensive catalogs and bearings. Why is that not working? Because it's trying to output... Oh, because it's not facing the, the right thing. Okay. Uh, and this one is looking for com uh, heavy composite and extended catalog. And why is this belt not happy? Because I missed one piece of belt. Cool, cool, cool. The color of the... Um, material insight and sig data is the same it makes makes it a bit harder to see what's happening with this belt but it's working why do those tiles look different which ones oh the ones in the middle these ones they're um uh what are they called space platform plating I just wanted it to look nicer for this build, especially since we've got a big square in the middle. Alright, so why are we not... oh, because I haven't done thermofluid input. Negative 100 degree thermofluid. Looks good. Uh, 
looks very good actually. I need to do these settings as well. Uh, limiting the output based, uh, limiting the output to the stations in particular, based on how much is in the stations. And we don't care if we stop outputting the scrap or junk data cards uh, in order to stop outputting the science packs, because it's the science packs that matter. And that'll be one cargo wagon full, 10,000 is. Um, I was going to say we should see a little bit of each material science pack in the stations, but I guess every single time these long arm inserters are stealing the uh, material science packs in particular, I guess it's material science packs appear and junk data cards appear and, well, I don't know actually. It's not because this is faster, is it? Because they're both already pointing at the machine. Hmm. Yeah, I, I would have thought they would, like, take turns um, to steal the... Uh, the science packs. But as it is, with the one-to-one -one ratio, everything is going to material science pack 4. Which would have to saturate before we get... Um, before we get any of our other science packs, which is fine in the long run, but not what I was expecting. Oh, what? Oh, no. Um, yeah. There we go. Alright, so this is going to be saturated shortly, and once it does, we'll actually start seeing some science packs go down here as well. But I'm pretty sure it all works now. Even if it does weirdly super prioritize the top tier of science. could give them some super speed modules. Do the K2 research servers not take prod modules? Uh, no. Pretty sure they do not. It's only the labs that consume the science packs uh, in space that take prod modules. Alright, so now we're starting to get yeah, 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 and so on. That should be fine. Alright, let's make a blueprint. I want to copy my naming convention here. That makes sense. Material... Science packs. And snap to grid. And remove the cheat inputs. I think the priority is because the long arm is selecting a specific and the normal inserter takes what's left over. Um, actually, neither of them have a filter on them. Because we don't need a filter to direct insert from one machine into the other. Uh, because it can't put junk data cards in the server. Oops. Alright, that's it. That'll be material science up to two in our rail network. Oh, wait, before I forget, 
I want to check these two little things. So yeah, that station doesn't have a name. Whoops. Uh, it's going to be Jump Data Cards, 25 Degree Thermo Fluid, and it's a High Priority Pickup. Fantastic. Oh, and there were like two signals missing over here. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, God damn it! not again. Don't press N after this. There we go. And let's get our construction train. Are you carrying servers? Yes, you are. I don't need you to carry these right now. But I don't need to wait for you to empty that. Well, it's going to take two seconds. There we go. Alright. Pleased to be building this. Oh no, wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I forgot I switched off having it carry space platform. How much do we need for this build? 1.4k scaffold and 700. Okay. Can we even fit that? Probably, because I just removed like five stacks of these. Long arm is inserting into an assembler that sets already what it can take, yes. I think the priority is because the long arm is selecting. Oh. Hmm. I wonder. That might be it, actually. Yeah, that's that's smart. Asandanima, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thinking of labs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me just get a drink real quick. Okay, that's a bit better. There's our delicious plating, which is once again slightly wrong. Need to fix that. I hope that those two tiles are probably underneath empty space because it got left out of the blueprint earlier, the first one. I need to actually set up these uh, long arm inserters as well. But to be honest, I'm not that fussed about it just yet. Because the main bottleneck will be bringing the materials in. Um, so if I set up all of these sciences and then come over there personally and fix up the inserters, um, we'll get it all done pretty quickly. Oh no, my bonk sound effect isn't working, so here's the text version. Bonk? Verza? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I could have sworn I set the train to carry four servers. 
Research servers. I definitely did. What, what the hell? Do we not have them? It wouldn't have left. It, it shouldn't have been able to leave without the research servers. They're right here. Did I somehow accidentally, without noticing, force it to leave? I do not know. Let's just try this. Okay, is it material 2 that's the limit of what we need for the basic spaceships I want to set up? We don't need any material for spaceships themselves. Energy 2 gives us ion. Uh, we're obviously not worrying about Deep Space Science Pack 1 and Material 4 and Energy 4 just yet. Um, material 1 gives us clamps. Material 1 and Material 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think this will be fine to get our basic... Like, our first version, our first... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Generation? Yeah, first generation of ships out. A pipe belt maze? Is it a maze? Mm, okay, yeah, that that's fair. It'll be a lot less of a of a pipe belt maze uh, when we have the advanced servers that are like this big. Uh, this, this, and this are all just here because these, uh, lower tier machines are smaller. It also didn't have... oh, wait, yes it did. Alright, so that's energy and material, and then we need astro, and I just realized we don't actually have to worry about, um, bioscience at all yet. I kind of... I, th I think I will ignore bioscience until I have spaceships, so we can get our Vidom launch um, without rockets. I'm ignoring bioscience too, indeed. Love advanced servers, yes indeed. When you have to deal with so many inputs and outputs, especially at speed, it's nicer to have larger machines, honestly. What the hell is this? We've got 12 media defenses. This didn't come through since I got here and fixed the media defenses, did it? I hope not. Bio Zero. Heading to Astro 3, Material 3, Energy 3, and Bio Zero? Damn. That's cold. Alright, I'm just here for the defensive walls and stuff. Which I don't remember where they are. Probably over here? No. Over, over here. Okay. Well, there's a bunch in here already. Did bioscience almost last? Did tier 3 to others first, then went for bio. But when rebuilding on new orbit, I actually started... Uh, made all bio already. Need it for prod modules. Fair enough. Doing bio for now and working on the... Advanced Neural Gel? Already want to give up. Oh no. Oh, the biters are still coming. Oof. No wait, I did clear this. So where are they coming from? Uh, no? 
Oh, it's over here. Well, that's rude. Alright, let's play Bite of Whack-A-Mole one more time. But I want to actually make sure that I've explored the entire pollution cloud first. Okay. So basically got two main nests that are consuming pollution. This one's still not getting any. And up here, perhaps? Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Where are we? Oh, wrong way. That wasn't actually a whoops at first. You know what? I want to procrastinate at least one more build before we play by the whack-a-mole. That is a weird pollution cloud. Does space consume pollution? Huh. Today I learned. Did you guys know space consumes pollution? Probably for UPS reasons. Meant to be zero pollution in space. Isn't it cheaper to fight pollution instead of the biters? Maybe I'm being lazy in my own way. Didn't we have a... Oh, we didn't. Okay, are our pollution eating blocks actually working? Where are they? Here's one. And yes, it is. I can see it disappearing. Uh, I thought I made at least one more. Yeah, this is the first one. And I thought there were three. Here it is. One, two, three. That's why there's such a big gap of pollution down here. Okay, you know what? It might be easier, and, I, and I'm curious now. You have piqued my curiosity. We're going to see exactly how effective... What's this? Oh, right, the scrap. How did we... Oh. That works. Get out of here. Alright, we're going to do a block eating pollution here. The mine is actually up here. I want to see how effective it is exactly. I might even do a whole block to eat pollution. Except we're going to have to get rid of some of these. Um, you know what? I do have more than seven pylons on me. Let's just do it this way. And I think I blueprinted it, but it was only the right side. To clear the pollution. Here it is. Air purification half block. Uh, and there's something... I thought there was something missing up here. Gonna need some yellow belt, and a lot of yellow inserters, and 108 purifiers. Uh, factory search help. Oh, there we, there we go. That is considerably more than 108. Um, give me some more yellow inserters and yellow belt as well. I can remember where we're making them. Yellow belt. Fantastic. Um, put most of these walls away for the moment. Give me 
a stack of these, a stack of these, and just in case, a stack of these. Does having ones in the circumference of your base contain the pollution? Uh, it depends. It's it's kind of like, you can kind of see, it's it's sort of like water draining into a sink. Kinda. Costco Taquitos, Merry Christmas, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. How goes the factory? Not too bad, actually. We've somewhat pushed the biters away on Nalvis. And space rail blocks are pushing towards spaceship science. I'm just going to call it that from now on. Spaceship science. Oh boy, the bots are going to prioritize this, aren't they? It's hard to run around in all directions with... WASD while pressing F. Get in my inventory. Alright, that should speed things up a tad. Do I have the range? Oh, wow. No. The answer's no. Uh, why am I missing a portable nuclear reactor? Because I crammed it into the other power armor? But why didn't I just make it? Very mysterious. Should have one more stack. One minute till I have that. Did I, like, lose a bunch of construction bots? I guess I probably did. But they should have been resupplied to me. Let me just turn off my RoboPort for a sec. Uh, yeah, sure enough, I've only got 16. Maybe it would be... Oh. Well, that's a few more. Even so, maybe I should fly back. Get some more. Oh, I'm so slow, though. This is where I had my jetpacks, actually. Not another power source. I don't actually need this. That's better. Napefus, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, give me those bots. They are not being delivered. There's 501 construction bots in the robot network. But they're not being delivered to me. Oh. I think I solved the mystery. I think we figured it out. I need some more fuel. Uh, didn't we used to... Here it is. No bonk. Teamwork? Genius? Indeed. Yeah, I'm curious to what extent and how much we would need. If we have a... a pollution sink here, how much is it going to prevent this pollution source from spreading up this way? Uh, and I think it largely depends on the volume of pollution and pollution deletion.
Oh, look at the cute little assembly machine too. Multian should be scheduling that before I can even finish the build. I, I hope. Pollution filter. Oh, it doesn't... Oh, the blueprint doesn't have the request for it. Okay. There we go. Uh, and I probably should reconnect this over here. Didn't bring enough rail? I did bring enough rail, the bots are tired. Or the roboports are anyway. Do the trains have path? Yes they do. Fantastic. I'm not used to these trains. I'm not used to my trains being this slow anymore. Missing some signals. And the bots are tired as well. One more train. Oh, there's... I think there's a couple on the way still. What are we looking for? Steel. That's plastic. That's coal. That's plastic. That's coal. That's coal. Do we not have steel plate? Uh, we don't have steel plate. Oh, no. Should I break it down from ingots? Maybe? Probably? Yes? Definitely? Alright, let's go do that. Did I place everything over here? I think we have now. What ghost are we missing here? What? Oh, I see. Sumo, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. No green wire? No green wire? What green wire do we need? I don't think this build... Oh, this is busted. Well, that's rude. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the output. Oh, and also for th this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Okay. Alright. Are there any trains that are still on the way with plastic or coal? There's one coal and one plastic. Is that going to be okay? Maybe not. Stop the plastic train. Oh, does it already have the plastic? Oh, it does. Oh, no. I think at this rate, there's not going to be 40 stacks left for steel. No, I think there, I think there will be, actually. T-Hack sees ghosts. Indeed, I do. Uh, yeah, I think I should hurry up and go convert ingots to plate from the steel ingots. And there's quite a lot of them. Um, the output stations need fixing, but that's not 
as urgent. Right, we actually do want to provide stack threshold 80 this time. Don't need the 50k. Um, this will probably be easier. Oh. I was doing long trains only. Hmm. What if instead of What if we just split before we put it there? Might be easiest. And we'll put a assembler over here somewhere. is this? 2.5 per second or 0.25 steel ingots per second which is... this can produce 2.4. Oh wow. Faster than I thought but in reality it's not going that fast. Two point four. So really, we're getting like one point something steel ingots per second. Was that long trains? It was long trains. All right. Ah uh, no. Alright, that's probably fine. I don't know how many things we strictly need steel plate for, actually. You know what, why don't we just shift C up here. I think you should fix copper and iron ingots too. Well, I really only need the copper and iron to go to Hagen. Uh, and I've got ingots converted to... I think it was for copper. Yeah, we're converting ingots into plate right here. So we drop them off as ingots. And then immediately convert them to plate on the spot and filter out as plate here. Which, come to think of it, I could do on the spot at any given drop-off, but that would be less efficient. There we go. So, when is this going to pick up? Not soon. Why don't I just give it a hand for now? It doesn't go through the steel very quickly, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. 0.15 steel plate per second. Yeah. I think that'll be fine. Although, I... Let's not forget the output. Oh, I do have the lighted substation here. So I don't have to redo the wiring. I think that'll be okay. I could maybe speed it up a little bit to get it started. So now we're looking at half a steel plate per second. 
We've got like 400 or so. We've got at least 10 minutes before we need a delivery of steel here. I think it's going to be longer than that though. Well, this is actually 4.5 steel plates per second, so it should be fine. If memory serves me right, the va vacuums? Vacuumers? Things only suck pollution from the chunk they are in? Yeah, but if this chunk has uh, practically no pollution, which will happen eventually, the chunk nearby... Uh, it's kind of like fluid flowing down a sink. Um... When this chunk has hardly any pollution, this thick pollution is going to fall in here faster. It, 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 it all spreads out, basically, to equalize around. It Like, it more or less uh, equalizes around the area, except that each chunk has a certain amount of pollution sink. Alright, well that will take a while to get going, unless I go and steal a bunch of pollution filters from elsewhere. Which I could do, but we've already got like, what, maybe 10%, well, 5% uh, of the uh, of the filters are already working. Let's jump into a build and check back here a bit later. Can we bite a whack-a-mole while we wait? I don't feel like it right now, to be honest. I don't think things are going to get that out of hand in the meantime. Scaffolding. Actually, type space. That way we can see both of these. That should be fine. Um, alright. So, we've done Energy 2 and Material 2. And I don't think I've done any Astro. And I know I don't have... I, I know I haven't done any, uh... Bio in the Rail Network. Uh, but yeah, I think I'll do Astro here-ish. And we'll start with... Um, we know it's just going to be a copy-paste edit for catalogs and for science packs. Um, same thing goes for Insight for buy. Well, we're going to need it anyway, actually. I want to double-check. I would like to double check uh, that the build for the insights is going to be the same for Astro and Bio. We may as well get it done. Uh, which tier was it? Tier 2, that makes sense. Well, maybe we should do tier 3 if we're going straight to tier 3 Astro. Yeah, I think I will do that. And I did shape it so that we could upgrade it to that, but doesn't that change the thermo fluid? Uh, nope. No, it's only the, um... It's only the first tier that doesn't use negative 273. That makes it a nice, easy upgrade path. Alright, we'll do tier 3 Astro 
and I don't know, whatever tier of bio, except for tier one. I might just ignore bio like until I've done three tiers of it or something at this rate. Then again, doesn't bio one give us spiders? Or is it bio two? It's only bio one. I really could have had them by now. Well, regardless. I think I'll at least go to tier 2 before I... Before I, like, activate it. Either way, this will be the same. Astro. Yeah, the only thing we're changing is the recipe. That's what's nice about this uh, upgrade path here. And we need to change catalog 2 to catalog 2. And so on. That was extended, yes. And tier 3, and blank data cards will stay the same. And then... Broad Bio. Bio Catalog. Extended Catalog. Comprehensive. And that's it. Making new data card builds and when I've run out of some machine, I add it to the mall? I think I'll add bot makers after I delete Nalvis orbit. Delete Nalvis surface. <laughs> Wait, where are you? Where is your main base? Is it Nalvis orbit? Uh, so this will be Astro Insight, regardless of the tier of build that we're using. This will be Bio Insight. And station names. Astro Insight, oh god, that's a lot, <laughs> a lot of symbols to change. This is the only downside of this naming convention. Alright, it's basically just one, two, three, four catalogs. Uh, not actually that bad, especially since they're all in a row. Catalog one, two, three, and four. Actually, I'm surprised we can go to uh, the tier three recipe with only a supercomputer. Uh, with the quantum supercomputer, we can go to tier four. We can also do Universal Simulation. I definitely want to unlock that sooner rather than later. It's actually only Tier 1 of each science? Okay, we're doing that after spaceships. Alright, cool, cool, cool. That seems pretty good, honestly. Let's blueprint. Main base is still at Nalvis surface, but it doesn't do much anymore after I deleted Nalvis orbit. Rebuilt a lot of factory without small, without mole on small moon surface. 
all train based. New Orbit will have rest of sciences and also mall, and it will be main base. Nice. Uh, Astro and Bio in sight. And that's it. Snap to grid looks good. Time to decide where to build this thing. Oh, how's our I see inserters swinging up here. We're actually almost like a third done. There you go. That's a good that's a good illustration of what I was talking about with the pollution. So you can see the pollution in these two chunks is really quite low. The chunks surrounding, directly surrounding them, and a little bit further out, is significantly lower than here, for instance. Um, and it's all just going to... There's basically going to be an expanding cloud of the absence of pollution around this, uh, which is going to affect what we have up here. I don't think putting two of these next to each other would actually have that much of an effect, considering that we're actually seeing this, uh... We're actually seeing this chunk get emptied of pollution. Moment to moment. Uh, and obviously we don't have enough purifiers running. Oh, oh, we're getting there. This, this chunk here is starting to get noticeably lighter. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, where are we going to place Astro Bio? I do want to keep these empty for potentially resources that we bring up through the spell evader. I think here is probably fine. Alright, Astro Bio, Insight, right about here. Let's grab our construction train, and it should already be carrying computers. Because the stack size isn't that bad. How much scaffolding are we looking for? Too much. 3.4k, was it? Um, pretty sure that's going to take... more than two trips. And I can't really schedule more than two loops like this without copy-pasting, like, the entire schedule. It wouldn't be temporary. Let's just leave it like that for now. It looks like five seconds of inactivity is enough as long as the bots jump out quickly enough the first time. All right. What's our next build? Um, well, first of all, let's fill this out. Astro 1, let's start doing the data cards. They all go in Astro facilities, right? Visible. 
infrared, UV, and microwave? No, I think microwave's from tier 2. Visible infrared UV astrometric. Multispectral astrometric analysis. Tier 2, tier 3. Oh, oh, this is a fun build. Um, we did a really interesting sushi build for this one last time. And I think if we do, we could give it an easy upgrade path if we don't have these higher tiers of recipe just yet. Where is... Let me just check the easy way which tier we've got here. Apparently we don't have any astrometrics facilities. Let's get ahead of that. Where does it stack to? 15. Let's make it 30 just to be safe. It should be switching over. Yep, there it goes. And we don't have to add anything to get this done. Fantastic. We've already got multispectral. So when does... Catalog 3 is needed to upgrade this. Does the temperature of thermofluid change? Negative 100, negative 100. It does not. Well, I'm pretty sure. And negative 100. Perfect. And here's what our pollution cloud looks like now. Um, and we've still got... Less than two-thirds. We've got about half of the air purifiers working. But it's enough for pollution to be disappearing out of all four of these chunks, at least for a brief, brief, brief moment. And then I can get you to come back after this trip. Stay here indefinitely. We should be able to get the build done then. Okay. Death Stranding is free on Epic Store. Only a few hours left, indeed. Toby, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Wrong computer in Blueprint. Uh, do you mean this one? Where are the computers? Oh, there they are. No, that's a you're tier one. Off putting less filters, but more spread around. Yeah, probably. By cow. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I mean, it does... You, we can see a difference in how quickly the pollution disappears from one... Uh, I was going to say cell. I guess that's close enough. One chunk. Um, so having multiple in one place isn't doing nothing. But uh, obviously it's more of a logistical pain to spread them around. Because we have to recycle them and deal with the dirty water output. Is this actually... It looks like I didn't do a vent here for the water that comes out. We're just counting on the rail network consuming water. Which hasn't happened here. Actually. It's working, it's just hard to see. Like you said, a sink in the ocean. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we're just tickling these biters up here. That's, um... That's going to be a good milestone to compare to after it's been running for a bit. Mm. 
construction train is not receiving the S signal because it doesn't have its delivery cannon chests because they're still in here. Maybe I should just add another one of these here. Yeah, I think that helps. Traffic jam at the pollution mine. <laughs> the pollution mine. There is a traffic jam here. What the hell? Um... How did this happen? Could you please wait... Oh, I broke the signals for leaving. Uh, because there's no rail here. No? Where did I put... It doesn't matter. What matters now is making this work. So I only allowed enough to fill one train and a bit to accumulate in here. So normally we wouldn't have two trains scheduled to come here at the same time. But... But, but, but... Because this train wasn't able to go back, it just sat here while the bulk rail loaders were filled up. And now it should leave. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. The pollution mine, I like that though. That's a little scary. Alright, is our train ready? I think it is. Let's drop down our Astro and Bio. Uh, oh, I see. We need the tier 2 computers to have the tier 3 recipe. How many deaths do you have? I don't know. Seven? Um, can we make quantum computer yet? Quantum computer energy three. So that's a no. Has to be 99% by trains. Uh, there's like one or two by trains, but it's mostly just being a little careless and underestimating the biters. Okay, I guess we'll... Wait, we need energy... Energy 3 to unlock the computers? Well, yeah, this makes insight. It's just more efficient with the higher tier recipe. Alright, well, tier 2 it is. We'll get our spaceships this way. I don't even have Astro 2? I mean, Bio? Because I have to actually unlock this first, I guess? Yeah. I'll just leave that recipe blank for now. I don't want to actually waste inputs. Even if we do have the, um... The means to make some bio insight. Also, actually, I'm never selecting the first recipe here because I don't have an output for blank data cards. Okay. It actually built the computers that we did have uh, in a surprisingly neat fashion. All right, we're a little bit short on pipe. Go back and get some of those, please. Come back here, wait for inactivity. Cool, cool, cool. Let's do our next build. It's going to take a while for the last of the pollution this far out 
to, um, you know, to totally disappear as well. Even if we suck up what's over here quite quickly. Alright. I want to do a sushi build. Let's do those... What are they called again? Uh, astrometric data. And we can start with the tier 2. We've already got that. Even if we didn't, we could do a build. Like, it, it's all the same thermofluid in, thermofluid out. We can literally just shape it for the highest tier. And up, grow into it. Alright, so tier 3, this. Let's do... Wide area bacon. Um, put these together in the obvious pattern. I know we're not going to need that many. From experience. How many would this... Oh, let's first give it some modules and stuff. We're on tier 3 modules. Let's go with efficiency and speed. Negative 70% power consumption. 3.4 crafting speed seems good to me. 17 astro data per second. Actually, I think I will just build as many as I can comfortably fit. Uh, and that's actually the middle, even though it feels closer to the bottom, because this is missing. And... that's missing. Are there still placeholder buildings in SE? Um, not to my knowledge. There is a quantum computer in the blueprint, indeed there was. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight inputs. The only trouble here is with a cargo wagon uh, with 50 stacks, when it was 40, we could theoretically have asked for eight train loads of stuff. Um, but now that it's 50, we can only go to 6.4. So we are going to need multiple train stops to input this. Unless I add some more storage down here, which might be the easiest way to deal with the sushi, actually. Um, yeah, I think we will do that. Except we can't just do loaders, because there are so many inputs. Eight inputs. How quickly do we consume? Really slowly, even with, um... Even with the half block with tier 3 modules, we're at less than 3 per second. For everything except for blank data cards, which is less than one belt. So what if... It's too many signal types. I was thinking, what if we had blank data card... Filtered through a space loader. And then we have, like, a filtered stack inserter and set filters blacklist, but there's seven or eight signals, which isn't going to fit here. So we'd have to either find another way or add some circuitry to set filters whitelist instead. Um, I could actually just go... 
Okay, how many stacks do we have in here? 256. I could potentially mirror this. But for now, let's suppose this is all we're going to use. 640 plus 256. Stacks is 896. Divided by 8. Well, we can obviously comfortably have over 100 stacks. Let's call it 100 stacks per resource. We could have up to two train loads. If we can keep these balanced so that we can have storage of everything uh, in all containers. So what if we go like blank data cards like this? And then I was hoping to have inserter, inserter, but we don't have a container that long. Hmm. Oh. I know. Stack filter inserter. Chest. And like this. I mean, I could have a belt here. Um, I was going to say, but that would slow the inserters, but they don't need to go that fast. So the idea is... Uh, we'll have an equal number of each different resource in this container with some slack. And any signal that is below that... Uh, amount, we can output. If we do anything and then everything, will it output more than one signal? I think it will. Let's say less than uh, 1,000. Uh, it is indeed outputting more than one signal. Cool, cool, cool. Good evening, Glacier Wolf. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So we're going to set filters whitelist for anything less than X amount. Um, because blacklist, there's just not enough signals. Uh, not, not enough spaces for filters. And if we have 500, let's say 500 stacks between eight different things. Uh... Let's make it 60 stacks each. They all have stack size 50, I believe. Fortunately. So 60 times 50, 30 something. 3000. And that should do it. Why is this paused? Is time frozen? No. Is, is time okay? How can the, how can this be paused while, while the main world still moves? Does it just unpause when it goes to the main world? Maybe, I guess. Okay, don't know how I did that, but it's fine. Um, okay, so we need... We need... We need LTN to know what's in here. And we need... This specific container to report what it's got to this combinator. And I think I'll use similar logic to do our test input. Welcome, welcome, Fraser K. 
Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Super Insider. I'll have to set filters whitelist, same as this. Um, and we're just going to say anything less than... It was 100 stacks, right? Or slightly above it to make sure the train comes before it actually runs out. We're only consuming less than 3 per second uh, for each resource. Well, let's see. 320 plus 512 per 640 plus 512 is 1152 stacks. Um, no, 1152 divided by 8. We can go theoretically as high as 144 stacks per item. I think we'll look for like 110 stacks from LTN for each. Uh, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's visible, infrared, UV, microwave. Is this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? All the things that look kind of like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. E yes, it is. All right, that makes it easier. Three, four, five, six, seven, and blank data cards. So when we're down to ten stacks, we'll request a refresh. Considering this uses most of a stack per second, maybe that's not that good. Maybe I could swap some space for these and make blank data card more full. Uh, how far could I go? I want to balance it so that we would have about the same amount of time left before any one resource ran out. So blank data card would be like um, fourteen point two seven seconds. That's not going to cut it. Maybe I should have more containers or a station just for blank data cards. That would probably make it a lot easier, and I I don't think I'd mind the look of that. Yeah, I, I think I like that better. Especially when there's so many different trains. There's going to be seven trains waiting to come in here. I'll just leave that as it is now for testing reasons. And we'll figure out the aesthetics after that. All right, so forget all that. We've actually got X many stacks between seven things. 640 plus 500. Uh, 1152, seven, 164. I think we could safely do a train load and a half for each of these. And blank cards gets its own station. All right. Yeah, I think we can still limit this to sixty stacks. That's fine. Oh, and now we don't actually need 
that thing in the middle. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so blank data cards in here. And if I just spawn one stack of each of these. Speaking of which, I wanted to double check this. Visible, infrared, UV, microwave, x-ray, radio, wave, and gamma ray. Fantastic. Radio wave and gamma ray. Um, and I just want to spawn one stack of each. And put all of those in. Oh. And then our filters should be set. Let me just disconnect that for a sec. And remove the blank cards. That should just about do it. It doesn't matter if there's only five each. So now it's going to keep going until there's 3k of microwave data, for example. And then it should switch to something else. Visible. Set filters whitelist. There's microwave. Is is this working? I see 11k microwave. I'm thinking the answer's no. If anything less than 3k output every... Th oh, that should have been an each. God damn it. Except we can't do... Yes, we can. But each less than 3k output each. Input count. Or input count or one, it doesn't matter. It's setting filters. Alright. Um, delete. And let me just empty all of this. Except now I have to put a little bit of Now I have to put the one little bit of each card in again. Um, let's do it this way, actually. That's that's all I had to do. All right. And let's start working on our sushi belt. I might move this down a little bit. We'll see. Oh, let me just double check the rate. So it's 35.36 plus 2.7 times 7, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 2.7 times 7 is 18.9. That's, uh, that's definitely going to be more than one belt. Should probably just have blank cards on their own belt. Maybe even put that down the middle. To make it neat. Uh, and each thing needs 0.17 per... I mean, if a long arm inserter can't keep up with it, the superior inserter will. But I'm thinking we could probably do the sushi belt on the output, on the outside. And the blank data cards on the inside, perhaps. And 
and then that's the wrong one. Uh, and then we could have the usual output station here. I want that to line up. So this will be the output belt. And this one will be input. That lines up well. And there's no side outputs for this build except for the fluid. So let's go with... Something like this. Each individual machine only needs 2.2 blank cards per second. Uh, we've got just enough room next to the beacon. Is what I would say if the fluid doesn't become a problem with this. Um... Hmm. Bonk. What do we do about this one? I could do the output on the outside. Four blues on right. Oh, true. I should have realized that looked weird. But we've got other problems as well. It's obviously going to be fast enough for the output. Oh, no, it's not. 54.4 per second. Uh, I take everything back. Well, if we're just going to have one input belt down the middle, we could have two output belts down the sides. Like this, perhaps. Obviously, you have to make sure we use both sides of the belt. So, sushi belt on the inside, output belt on the outside. Uh load inputs obviously going to have to look something like this that's not a problem what what oh i see it's the belt direction And I'm sure we're not going to have a problem with thermo fluid. On the inside track. I will need this to leap across somewhere. That might be a little bit tricky. I, I might have to go around, even. But we should be able... to just do our inputs like so. Put blank cards. It's looking pretty neat, actually. Let's get rid of this. Oh. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Nor is that. Uh, there we go. 
Alright, there's our seven signals. For each less than 3k, keep putting them in. And for each less than 7.5k up here. Um, this is going to be our simulated trains bringing stuff. And we'll see how much we end up with. Oh, that'll take a little while. Oh yeah, thermofluid can just meet up down here. Oh, except it needs to happen here as well. That's kind of a problem, actually. Uh, I guess I could easily enough have a little underground here. And then... same thing. And then... Uh, it's gonna be a little bit ugly, but... That's not too bad, I guess. And then this can go wherever. How fast do we go through the thermo fluid? Pretty slowly. a bit more tidy, I think. Uh, we need some fibers. Not that one. And I want to put the thermofluid drop-off up here. Or I guess I could put it on the left. We could have... Yeah, since this is seven different resources, even though they're quite slow. Oh. Well, that's... That's not adding up the way I thought it would. Wait. What container was I just looking at? Oh, that... That's the bulk rail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This still looks okay. We've got 3k of... I don't know. I don't even know which one it is, actually. Probably the f visible observation frames. No, I think it's a different color. I think it's like microwave. 3,000 microwaves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2.5k of x-ray. So why is it now putting in the infrared? Very strange. Regardless, um, I think we'll just have... I still need room to do the sushi stuff. Okay, if we need 2.72, potentially faster later on. But let's stick with this for now. 2.72 times 7, 19.04, that's less than half a belt. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I think we just do one eighth input for each of these, which means so we can start by putting them on a half belt, and then we can do fifty percent of that. That's a quarter belt, and then fifty percent of that. Should be one eight. Input priority is the stuff that's getting recycled. Um, these two probably doesn't matter which has priority. But in any case, if we start with half a belt here, we should end up with a one eighth belt for any given item down here. 
Cipher Cat, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Beardless Dane, welcome, welcome. Robol. Robol. Gil. Uh. That name, welcome, welcome, also. Let me try again. Ro Why does my scroll act like this? Robol. Gil. Baruch. Uh, welcome, welcome also. Just say Baruch, okay. Merry Christmas, Seifer Cat, Soul Burns, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. I believe that is an eighth of a belt. Um, now how do we do it with seven different things? Without using up too much space. We can do two of them, like this, obviously. What if I simply merge in four resources like this? Three and four. Assuming that that input is saturated, Uh, we should get... It's hard to tell, honestly. Happy summer solstice to Jason Holiday, indeed. Oh, sushi, indeed, indeed. Um, and if we do all this again, of course... We can simply merge uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Does that give us equal amounts of each of these on the belt? Purple, red, blue, yellow, blue. It. I don't see. I can't tell, honestly. Test it with another item instead. Those cards are too similar looking. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. How about iron plate, copper plate? Um. Something red, something green, something yellow, something purple, something blue. Alright, how's this look? I'm seeing double purple, but that's probably Turan okay. 45, fantastic. Turan 45, fantastic. Morpheus, thank you very much for the 12 months. Wow. Thank you so much, and good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Something old, something new, something purple, something blue. Put in a chest to see it? That's a good idea. Oh. Oh, that's okay. I guess. As long as it doesn't slow it down. What do we got? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting double of one of the resources? For some reason? Oh, because it's the only one that's, um... That's got a half belt to itself over here. That makes sense. But that's okay, because it's all going to get recycled. But yeah, you can easily, easily see... Um, that everything else is perfectly balanced. Alright. 
So we have our uh, sushi logic, but can we fit it with any level of elegance up here? Maybe I move this down a bit. Because I don't think we can do much better. Uh, bear in mind as well, um, we would need to have... Uh, a lot, actually. One, two, three, four... It's gonna take up a lot of space. No matter how we go about it. To get the seven half belts that we're looking for. LSF, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Perfectly balanced till have all type of resources. Uh, indeed. What if we go for this? Um, we can make that a bit more compact. And we're only going for seven, but we do actually need a half belt or not if if orange and blue here use the same half belt then it wouldn't matter if purple uh whoops yeah, yeah, yeah. if purple was that's the wrong purple but if purple was coming in on both sides i don't think it would actually make a difference Wait, no. If purple's coming in on both sides, then orange and blue need to be on different sides. Yeah. So, I don't think we even need to bother forcing this to be a half belt. But do we have that kind of room? The answer is no. Unless... I could merge it in over here. We don't have to do all of it in one spot. Right? What if... What if we do something a little bit like this? And then... And then and then. Oof. Owie. Question, how fast are white belts? Same as blue. 45 per second. Uh, I could actually do that. And then... I kind of want to make that look a little bit tidier. Can I do that? Not really. Kind of. It'll do. Yeah, I definitely like that better. Can't use other belts in space, correct. Today, T-Hacks, can't you just... Moving everything down to make belt space? I can, I'm just seeing if I can fit it here for starters. And if I challenge myself to try and fit this here, and then I move this, it's going to be all that much easier to fit things nicely. Alright, let's do the first four here. Two, three, and four. And then on the other side, it's going to look something like 
this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. You know what? I kind of want to put this one by itself and these two with the similar color next to each other. So the third last one, X-ray, can have its own belt. And then... Do we keep this shape? Maybe? Kinda, yes. I don't think this is it already, but let's find out. Oh, and actually we want to... Recycle what comes back, as opposed to merging this here. So I'll just do an underground here, and that should be it. Oh, and let's check. We've got some slack here, definitely. Hard to tell, but I think that's looking pretty good. Judging by the way all these input belts are moving, they seem to be moving about the same amount. Bulk rail loaders or unloaders in this case? Yes, that is the name of that mod. In station itself, not the regular rails? Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Alright, um, let's test it. Because it looks to me like this is working. We should have way more than enough. Uh, it doesn't matter if this gets imbalanced if we're only asking for a couple of train loads of uh, blank data cards. Oh. That might be okay. If we do this here, I was already thinking of having the thermo fluid dropped off at the same place as the blank data cards. And that way we don't have to try and pipe up through all of this. And then... just over here. Actually, that's backward. And thermo fluid. Make sure it gets. Oops. Uh, make sure it gets where it needs to. It's negative 100, right? Yes. Negative 100 degree. Thermo fluid. Uh, it needs to get to the right side as well. Probably do it this way. Oh, that's a good fit. That actually looks kind of better than what we had. Um, couple of fives. Yeah, I like that. That looks nice. And it looks like our sushi is working. Um, let's make sure we void all of our outputs. So we can test it for more than a minute.
looks pretty good to me. I'm actually pleasantly surprised at um, how relatively neat and compact I managed to make that much sushi input. I think we've probably got enough here that we can get rid of our test input. That is a beautiful build, even if I say so. I'm very happy with that. Let me do the station names. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven inputs. Request a chest. It's going into a yellow thing. Where is it? Astrometrics facility and outcomes astrometric data. Thanks, Bushaza. Amazing, well built. Thank you. Um, and over here we're looking for blank data card. We're going through less than one stack per second, so a couple of train loads should be more than enough. Uh, and also we're not going to bother to balance this, but uh, we can fit three cargo wagons worth, uh, three and a bit cargo, wa wait, what? We can th fit more than three train loads worth of stuff in one of these unloaders, so yeah, that's not going to get jammed when the train comes. And negative 100 degree thermofluid. As usual, I'll ask for 100k. I would make the big box filter with constant combinator. Oh, because uh, this won't actually work at first when this is empty. Yeah, you're right. Constant combinator. Oh, they're over here. Um, alternatively, I could just put this here and put one of each, and it won't affect the count from this thing. Wait, no, that doesn't... that would be bad, actually. We'll just pretend there's one of each to start with, like I was about to do before I got too clever by half. And I actually want to set this to 2,999, because it could make the difference between one more stack Actually, probably not, considering this is a stack inserter. Whatever, we've got plenty of slack here. Uh, but yeah, that's our sushi. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, I didn't actually void this yet. Alright, so this station is called blank data card and negative 100 degree thermofluid requester and it's all going into astrometrics facilities and outcomes astrometric data. Nice. Uh, and last but not least, we've got a high priority pickup. Which 
Short trains are fine. Uh, what was I doing? Astrometric data. And also 25 degree thermofluid. Cool, cool, cool. Well, we won't actually be building this for a minute. And when we do, we'll have to put it on the second tier recipe. Uh, but that that's literally just the same recipe, but with fewer inputs. And we don't get as much stuff out. So, no problems there. Uh, and now let's remove the excess scaffolding. Tidy it up a bit. That includes this. We'll just go like that. Can we do an upgrade planner for scaffolding? No, that's unfortunate. Let's get rid of these. Pretty sure, pretty sure it's all working. I know it's just a waste of scaffolding, but it's kind of, kind of going to bug me if that gap is left there. Okay. There is a mod tile upgrade planner, indeed. Did we get rid of all the test stuff? I think we did. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Purple liquid pickup? Oh, good call. Uh, by which I mean it's just the wire, isn't it? I mean, that's that's a good call too. I thought you meant that I'd forgotten this entirely. Oh, and I want to limit... Um, limit this to one cargo wagon each, which will basically act as a balancer. Pumps might be useful too. Nah. Pumps are... Pumps are for them fancy folk. Oops. That think they're too good for us. Alright, I think... Is, is that it? Are there any more silly little mistakes? No? Definitely not? Not in a million years? Good. Fantastic. Maybe put the pumps the correct way too. I already did. How dare you. Pumps are backward? You're all banned. Okay. Uh, what's this called again? Astro... Astrometric data. And I wouldn't exactly call it basic. Snap to grid, 86, 25, 1. This is when I realize that I missed one of the cheat inputs and then the grid position snap changes. Oh, we're good actually. 
Okay, then. Very happy with that. Uh, let's have a peek at our game. Oh, we finished, um, full stop. Flat solar panel 2. Cool, cool, cool. That means we've already got a build to do this, right? I think both of these are supposed to be flat solar panel 2. We're just missing aeroframe scaffold. I don't think I've built those. Uh, we can do those on the ground for productivity bonuses. And of course I'll need to... Ooh, look at that neat little pattern. Surprisingly neat. Is this 50-50 exactly? Yeah, it is. Very cool. Uh, anyway, I'll also need to bring it up from the surface. Um, I want to put all of these... Oh, did I already do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I left a gap for... Uh, every frame scaffolds already, because I wanted to keep these greenish things together. So is this one the station? Scaffold... Scaffold. I really want to upgrade the trains as well. We've got all vanilla locomotives running these resources. Um, this should be called Aeroframe Pole. I know I'm chasing squirrels right now, but it's going to bug me later on if I don't. Uh, and this should be set to... well, I'll leave that for now. It doesn't work while it's set to anything equals zero, uh, and that's intentional. I want to make sure the train isn't going to come until I'm good and ready. Okay, how's our pollution cloud? It's still touching all these biter nests. Well, probably because the drills were inactive for a while as well, uh, and then we've made them active again. But... That's interesting. Oh. Oh, we ran out of steel. How much steel is over here? Not that much, but we can summon a train and hopefully it'll go to completely the wrong place. Cool, cool, cool. Let's hijack this train. change its destination. That should keep the pollution deletion going for a good while, I think. Also, why are we not getting steel plate? Did I disable this? No. No, I did not. Iron plate. Hmm, is it just that slow? Quite possibly. We've maybe... Oh, we've definitely got some megawatts to spare. You can see that more than half of the day is... Our accumulators are full. Let's go put some beacons at the core fragment processing. Which, come to think of it, two, four, six, eight. This is actually going to save us power. I should have done this sooner. Negative seventy percent. Okay. Bots okay. were just teasing. That that's going to be a little bit quicker. Almost half a stack of iron every second, just from core fragment processing. Have you considered efficiency mods in that polluting mine? I have. I've just been lazy and distracted. 
But I also want to get the maximum out of the mine itself. And again, copper's not exactly rare on this planet. How many efficiencies do I have? Was that the last of them? Really? It was exactly the last efficiency module I had. Well, that's unfortunate. Hmm. Well, we'll check back in on that in a little while. Did our steel not get here? What? I didn't send it to the wrong station, did I? Uh, wh where, where did our steel go? I did send it up here. Did, did I not? May I ask what is that tower looking thing that the train loads into? Yep, uh, the mod is called Bulk Rail Unloader. Or Loader. Um, so these flat ones are the unloaders. The train just drops everything into there. Uh, and the, the big ones are the bulk rail loaders. Did someone steal it? How dare you. Midden, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's get another train to pick this up. And I'll actually keep an eye on it this time. Stealing steel, indeed. Big clown. Uh, Phoenix, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Alright, our train is... You're joking. No. It went to a... Mm -mm. No, 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 no. No. Oh, it went to a temp stop first? I thought it was just going to a different... Like, it, it probably did previously drop off steel at a different station with the same name. Yep. Here we go. Pollution be gone. Fantastic. Can this thing keep up? I calculated it previously, but maybe 0 0.075 pollution filters per second. 0 0.075... Oh! No, it totally can't keep up. Wait, wait, wait. I might have rate calced that with the the thing that makes the pollution filters. Oh, is this that irrelevant? Uh, used pollution filter is net positive. Yeah, no, that's that's bad. That is ungood. I don't have any efficiencies on me, so I'll just leave it as is. Um, that should probably keep up. Not quite. Not quite. Do I pollute more in order to pollute less? Pollution plus 8% on one machine. I don't think that's that big of a deal. Uh, it's prod modules that really pollute. That is just barely negative. That's perfect. Do pollution filters even get 100% utilized? I guess probably not. Uh, anyway, let's have a look at... Well, let's make sure the walls are still there. Technically. Let's have a look at our builds in space. 
Uh, what do we have missing here? I think it's just... Yeah, it's just the beacon, so I don't care about that right now. Alright, so this is insight and insight. Which is probably important that I put a tag here. I mean, I would have figured it out, but... The fact that I'm not setting a recipe here yet, that would probably help. Um, what's next working backward with our prerequisites for astroscience? We need to actually do the visible, infrared, UV, uh, microwave, and observation. No, we actually have to do Astro 3, don't we? For the spaceship? Uh, where's just spaceship? Oh no, the research is different here. Spaceship. Yeah, we do need Astro 3. So I've got, uh, 12... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 builds. Uh, to work out here. Probably plus some copy-pastes that we've already done. Alright, let me just double-check that I did, in fact, blueprint this thing. I did. Fantastic. It would be horrifying if I lost this. I guess I'd watch the VOD and recreate it, because I am very, very pleased with this particular build. Uh, let's put down some scarf. That's not scaffolding. There we go. Wow hacks just wow? Wow what? Johan Anderson. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Nine builds. Is it time for a montage? <laughs> With some generic public domain electronic music? Indeed. Uh, montage powers activate. Let's do visible. Yeah, some of these are going to be like the same shape, right? Visible observation data. I know we're going to have to do observation frames, but that one's just easy. Let's just work backward along the prereqs. Uh, so this is in an astrometrics facility... Junk data and scrap. I think they're all going to be... I was thinking of the, the parts that require the telescopes, actually. I have the Tiger Stars playing, indeed. Creating more pollution? Yes. Yes. Uh, so how many of these recipes do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All of the... All of the inputs to make multispectral are here. How similar are they? They all have exactly the same shape. Um, and I'm pretty sure we consume all of them equally. Right? Visible observation... Uh, maybe not because of some of the catalogs. Tier 1 catalogs in particular probably go into something else. But maybe not something with constant throughput. Thruster suit Mark III, don't care. Not in terms of throughput. Whatever. We'll treat them equally for now. The rates are going to be different. But it looks like they're all going to be very slow. 
for every resource. Hmm. Should we aim for... What if I did... Hmm. It's a lot of outputs, but what if I did a... Crafting Combinator build? It's a lot of inputs as well. Yeah, I don't think I want to do that. I could do a bot build, since the resources are all so slow. None of, no thermofluid is involved. If it was, they'd probably use the same thermofluid. Hmm. Actually, with 50 Logibots, I bet we could keep up with as much as we want to do in one block here. And we could... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, ideas are forming. Let's see what this ends up looking like. Uh, give me some... modules. Probably this many. That is negative 70% power. Bot build seems reasonable. Yeah, I bet 50 Logibots will keep up with this easily. And we can just do as much as we can fit under one beacon, or even double it, if we have to. Quester chests. I could maybe use buffers just so that the system knows how many we've got. We're gonna have a drop off uh, that uses active provider chests. Uh, the only thing is, we would need seven, eight, nine. I don't think we're doing nine different output stations. We could do a smart loader instead. And I think that's probably going to be fine, considering how slow our um, output products are going to be. So we're going to do, just once, one of the... Um, I don't know why I'm measuring this with... I'm not actually going to use bulk rail here. Uh, we're going to... quite fit one of these here. I don't think we need to anyway. We're going to do one of the complicated uh, circuit loaders slash unloaders that I had way too many of last time that were probably costing significantly UP uh, significant UPS. But if we just have it as a one-off, I'm sure it's fine. So we're going to have Robopot. I'm not doing a lot of these Robopot builds um, in the rail network. However, I would still like to make sure it doesn't overlap with a potential next door neighbor. Uh, that's actually an excellent fit. Yeah, let's just do couple of roboports like this. Why not?
Okay. And then... And then and then. I think I'll have... One train load is a hundred stacks, that's more than two chests. Two train loads is two hundred. Uh, which is more than four. And we have... Eight inputs. How fast do we go through blanks? Not that fast. Alright, what if... I think I'll do what I did with the uh, solar panels. Something like this. I'm gonna do filtered... Uh, storage chests. And I'm gonna go visible, infrared, uh, UV, blank, microwave. Wait, I feel like I'm missing some. No, we have eight inputs, don't we? I can't make it symmetrical. No. What about this? Well, I I want to start over just to be sh just to be sure. All right. So uh, visible. Let me move this out of the way until we're finished here. Uh, infrared, UV, microwave, X-ray, radio wave, and gamma ray observation data. Uh, that's 48 times 5 is considerably more than two train loads. Four is almost two train loads. Nah, let's leave it at that. And then... plenty of blanks. Oh, we could just do five blanks like this. Two train loads of blank data cards. And then we can just set all the requests equally. Oh, we need... Oh, no. We need the observation frame? Oh, no, I'm doing it backward. Oh, no. Uh, it's actually the observation frames we need. The stack size is huge. I don't think we need to request that many. What's our rate of consumption for this one, for example? Oh, that's actually fast. Uh, 85 per second is actually kind of fast, though. How many machines is this? 32? 102 per second? 119 per second? 108 per second. This one's only 45 somehow. Oh, that's without even putting speed modules in these. A hundred and ninety-three? Did I pick the slowest one to compare? I I probably did. X-ray. Yeah, that wasn't a mistake. Um... I think this is too slow for bots unless the size of the build is smaller 
Bots are very, 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 very fast if they don't have to go far. Um, but this isn't going to cut it. I'm going to have to scrap this. And I definitely don't see a way with, with or without belts with that kind of throughput that I'm going to be using a crafting combinator set up here. Which means we're not going to be doing this either. Alright, fair enough. Um, I probably didn't need to remove the beacon though. And we're definitely not using bots. Um, so how fast is this? Two belts of x-ray observation frames, half a belt of blanks. Do we even need this much? Oh, and we're getting barely any scrap, barely any junk. I think I'll just do it like this. Ten blanks, uh, one whole belt of x-ray. Seems good. Let's get the middle. Uh, and our output rate is less than, way less than one belt. Cool, cool, cool. I would like to line this up with the middle. If I can. And we'll have our scrap and junk up here. May as well fill the half block, go big or go home. I think this is big already though. Compared to what we'll be needing more than likely. Remember how much uh actually let me check something. Visible observation frame goes into catalog astrometric data, and that's basically it. That's gonna be like that for all of them, right? Pretty much. Yeah, I think this is already going very big. For the rates that we're going to need these things. It's probably fine. I could put signals here, but honestly, with how often these trains are going to need to pick up from here, not really necessary. Are you going to do this build times nine then? I think I have to. Or is it times seven? Yeah, times seven. But I'll have like two separate... I'll have two in each block. Also, happy Christmas, Murphy. Good to see you again. You're welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's put our output down here. We'll have to filter off everything else. Uh, let me start from the start, left to right, we'll go visible, data, start from the very beginning, um, 
Yeah, it's kind of surprising we have to do this same thing seven times. With slightly different ratios. Visible data. And then... Same thing up here. Actually, I think I kind of like this better. Where are my undergrounds? Uh, and we got junk and scrap. What, what goes faster? I don't think it really matters. Let's put scrap here. Scrap on the left. Junk up here. Junk data card. Wait, what did I just... And this one's for scrap. Okay. I think that's those two stations set up. Fantastic. I also want to limit this one to one train plus whatever's in the delivery cannon chest. And I don't care if short or long trains pick it up. Inverted moon coat. Okay then. Let's go for visible data provider. And we're going to be requesting blanks and visible observation frames. And zero thermofluid. Stack size 200, and we go through 112 per second? Just from this? Really? Okay. I really don't think we need this much. Like, we've obviously got plenty of room for easy expansion here. I think this will be fine. Finally notice it? Notice what? Woke up at 6am with a terrible hangover, so the stream has been very soothing for the past four hours. Thank you, you're welcome. And thank you for the compliment. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. I just wish I could put more of these builds together. Like, make it more space efficient. Considering we've got all of these incredibly similar builds. But all the different inputs and outputs. I mean, they each have one input, one output that's different from the rest. Is there a universe where I could put, like, four of these builds in one block? That you need 200 plus on that thing? Yeah. Well, if the inputs... Unless I'm going to do a smart loader... Or squeeze in some extra stations, which probably not. I could do a smart loading station. We could have like one, two, three, four of these in one block. The 
the scrap and junk can obviously find its way into one place. Um, and we could easily... Is there a universe where I put all seven in one place? Maybe there is, because I don't remember needing a lot of these. And judging by the numbers and looking at other builds, I very much doubt we need that many of these. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe sushi for the slow... No, no, no. Well, let's see what kind of rates we get. I, I don't think we're going for sushi, though. If, if we do seven of these in one place, that's seven different inputs, seven different outputs. And we're looking at all of these different rates, my goodness. 4 plus 5.3333 plus 11.333 plus 12.089 plus... I'm just gonna stop adding that many dec decimals. Oops, I lied. Uh, we're looking at about 72 per second. So less than two belts of throughput for the different frames, but how do we actually get them there? Let's just do some belts and see what would be practical. I think we could do like... Two or three. If we do two on each side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's only two rail blocks. I think I'm okay with that. Let's start with visible. And then infrared. Let's see what kind of rate we're looking at. So two belts visible and two belts infrared. That's probably fine. And for blanks between all of them, way less than one belt. So we could put the blanks in the middle. I think I want to do it like this. Wait, what? No. Don't forget these are different recipes. Uh, if we're just doing the blanks in the middle, then... How fast are these individually, consumers? Seven per second, that's a stack. I guess I'm not surprised. And then just like this. I could probably live with this. If only the wide area beacon was the same size as the gap between the wagons. Uh, and we need some output.
All right, let's test this. So uh, we have three inputs, right? Solids, that, that is. Well, actually, it's all solid. These two are basically the same. Like, data cards are quite slow. We've got 640 stacks between three resources. Uh, we can do two train loads of each. Keep it simple. Well, blanks I'll probably do like one and a half train loads. Blank data card, 7500. Uh, visible observation frame. Why are they not in the same order? And the other one was infrared. Infrared, right? Yes. Uh, so stack size 200, two train loads. Uh, 200 squared is 40k, damn. In the grim darkness of something something, there is only high throughput frames. So 80,000, 87,500, well no, um, 200, 400, 550 stacks between 620. That should be fine. Uh, okay, so visible frames in the middle. And infrared on the outside. And then... Set filters blacklist. Can you put the blank data cards on the right belt and the output on the left? Uh, I could, but I like the output belt lining up with this thing, but then it comes from a splitter. That might actually look tidier. Good point. Set filters blacklist. Inri Inri? Good to make you... Good to make you? What? Good to make your acquaintance again. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I didn't flip this around yet, did I? Yeah, I think that's a bit neater. I mean, this looks a little weird, but I think it looks less weird than that belt doing something strange. Words not working for T-Hacks need a break so that you can see words on the stream, Beldak. Is that how it is? Uh, I also need to add Infra Red and that's it. do need to top up my drink. Alright, to the surprise of no one, that seems to have no trouble whatsoever keeping up. I mean, I would imagine it's to the surprise of no one. So we've got 4.5... Excuse me. Uh, 4.5 or so data cards per second, or data per second for each of these. Should be significantly more than we need. And then we'll do the same thing. I can actually flip it. Same thing over here, except we'll just... Oh. Oh, 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 I forgot. Oh, no. Um... 
Hold on, if we have four outputs, one, two, three, four, and the scrap and junk can go here. That's perfect, actually. For now, I guess, uh, infrared is taking an, taking a vacation. I can actually flip that, but I don't need to. Um, and we definitely want to limit these. Okay, so what's it going to look like? Well, if I have to do two things going one way and two things going another way, uh, I could make a mess with splitters, or I could use a st not a storehouse, a strong box. So this is going to be junk data cards and scrap. Let me put the scrap first. And then empty this. Fun fact, with tier 9 modules there's only need between 1 and 4.5 machines for each material science data card. What do you mean? Oh, depending on how fast you want to go, of course. I mean, it's easy to trim down the number of machines we have in any case. So I think what we'll do here is... Same, same, but different. Scrap and junk. Over here. Uh, I'll need to... Unless I want to make this container bigger, which I don't. I could just move it down one. Uh, which data curve was this supposed to be? I think I'll make it visible. Visible observation data. And this one is going to be infrared. Infrared. And Tasty. And Tasty. Um, and that's going to go down here. And then this one's also going to move down a tile. And I'll probably just shape this a little bit differently. The top two machines on the left aren't working. Indeed. Crazy Heather. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so I'm going to do the next two here. So this is UV. Uh, and this one can be UV, I guess. And then we've got microwave. Let's 
simple as that. I haven't started rebuilding Astro Data yet, but... Excuse me. Don't like the math there. Half the cards require between 2 and 10 machines, and the other half require 30 to 80. <laughs> Lovely. Um, but I th think that part's actually done. I just need to do the input station. And just like this, set filters blacklist. Uh, we need UV frames and... Oh, that's right, they're not in the same order. It was microwave, I believe. Yes. Microwave. And then... Same thing over here. Similar things over here. Uh, so this is UV, and this one is microwave. Let's get rid of these voiders. <gasps> no! Now it's going to be imbalanced. It doesn't matter. It's going to have a provide stack threshold of 100, and we can only fit 100 in these two. I think that's about as tidy as it gets for this lot. What are you, what are we talking about in here? I don't know if it's just me, but this game looks like art. You all look so complicated. <laughs> I don't know. I've never heard anyone describe something complicated, anything like that before. Um, it is complicated, but Factorio is very good at giving you one little piece to work out. Bear in mind, this is a set of mods that are way beyond the vanilla game. Um, but Factorio is very good at giving you one little thing at a time to solve. Uh, I guess until you get up to oil... No, they made oil easier compared to what it used to be to figure out the first time. Let's get some scaffolding in here. Oh, I... Mm, I wish I had put my test inputs where I was going to have scaffolding regardless. Oh well. T-Hacks must have lots of hours in-game. Countless. Literally, because I don't have the Steam version. Um, getting good at circuits, for example. I mean, I have some tips about how to do it a bit quicker, but... The... Design, build, and refinement of my Omni smelters. Not that I'm using any this playthrough. Um, that was literally a process bit by bit over years. Although before I streamed Factorio, I played it. Like, I, I would play a bunch of it and then stop and then pick it up again six months later. Uh, rinse, repeat. 
That looks decent. Let's get rid of these. And we don't need to get rid of much else. It looks like everything's ending up in the right place. Voids are still on the side stations, indeed. Just got them, yep, yep, yep. See that T-Hex takes the shining to games that make your head hurt. <laughs> Oxygen not included is a lot more difficult to learn, I'll say that. Why do you not have the Steam version? Um, I bought it before it came to Steam, I think. Back when it was reasonably priced. The demo is very generous, though, and if you like Factorio, you will get many hours out of it. You'll get several out of hours out of the demo. No need to worry about that. Or well, maybe part of that price that I'm talking about is Australia tax. I haven't checked. Okay, this is kind of bothering me, even though it's technically more efficient. 55, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I need to do the station names. I already did that for the junk and scrap. I haven't done the input stations. That won't be difficult. All right, I did do visible. This is the second one. Uh, infrared. Then we've got microwave down here. I think that's number four. And this must be UV. UV observation data. Fantastic. TBH Factorio is still very reasonably priced at £30. Uh, is that Euro? Given the hours, you'll likely get out of it. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, I, I, think, I think the philosophy of, no, this is what our game is worth and we're never changing it, it's never going on sale, is pretty silly, to say the least. But the demo is generous, and if you like Factorio, you are going to get a lot of hours out of it. Um, so the price isn't that much of an issue, honestly. It's not like it's on the scale of AAA games with the price either. Alright, so this is for... Requesting visible and infrared. Infrared. And blank data cards. And it's going into the spinny machines. And out comes visible and blank. Uh, not blank. Visible and infrared. And then we do something kind of similar over here, but it's UV and microwave. And microwave. Uh, and we copy paste these settings, but change change this to EV. Change this to microwave. Cool. And I believe we're half done, or more than half done. I guess you could say. 
for all of these damn cards. Let's blueprint this thing. Only does seem to be a lot harder to grok with no experience. It absolutely was. Grok? To understand, to get, for it to click. It's not a terribly common word. I've never heard grok in my lifetime. Indeed. Um... Visible and infrared and UV and microwave. Snap to grid. Tiles, train stop, aim, snow cheat items to remove. Seems good. Let's check the snap to. We can rotate it if we really want. Cool, cool, cool. Let's put it down here. And now we need to do the same thing with three, uh, three other resources. So we'll do... We're not even going to change the shape of this at all, right? Uh, we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, x-ray. Once again, I kind of want to put the last two that are a similar color next to each other. They just feel like they're twins or something. Let's do x-ray on this side. And we won't need to have double the machines. That was one too many. And we won't need to have double the inputs. I think I'll leave that as is for the hell of it. X-ray observation frame. Very common term in my area. What area is this? Factorio is complicated, continues to copy paste the same build seven times. Uh-huh. Uh usually like usually builds that you have to do something similar over and over again, or you know, a number of times and space exploration there's some change like this or that fluid is different and this one doesn't have a fluid output this one outputs a lot of scrap um this one swaps a different resource but these are just literally the same thing with different rates i don't know like i don't know if you snuck in to the design lab or whatever that day. I don't think SE makes it a lot harder, just more stuff in toys. It depends. I could definitely see a newer playing a newer player being a bit intimidated to say the least. You know what I could have done? To have two of these in the one block is just had one on one side and one on the other side. Uh, that would have been simpler, but whatever. What's done is done. I think this looks nicer anyway. Um, so this is... It also would have been a bit of a pain with the outputs. Radio. And... Gamma ray. Where's, here it is, Gamma Ray. I might actually remove some of that scaffolding. And 
down here as well. Maybe not that much. That seems fine. Okay, let's do some test inputs. Uh, where's my wire? Set filters blacklist. Click right click, shift left click. And we're good. This one's a little more complicated. That's not what I meant to do, but okay. For some reason it's not putting stuff in. Uh, whoops. It's probably fine. We also need Gamma Ray. Alright. So, are they all gonna work? Let's avoid again, just to be sure. Well, I don't think we have to worry about the scrap and junk output. Oh, I need to do the filters on these. Cool, cool, cool. So this one... We've done four already. This one will be... Where is it? Uh, X-ray? Yeah, I did make this X-ray. Okay, cool. Did I not click it? Where did I just set that filter? Oh, it was the station name, right? X-ray. There we go. Uh, and this is gamma ray. And this is radio wave. Radio wave. Gamma ray. These machines output to this station, and these ones output to this station. I kind of like that. I think t Hax would definitely be an engineer if he isn't already. Unfortunately, I'm not. I think the SE early game, less than 10 hours, is about the same as K2. Except that it adds AAI Industries. Not sure if K2 also does that. Uh... I didn't specifically add AAI, and we do have some stuff like the burner turbine generator. I think it's part of K2, as in it's like a prerequisite. Old Busk, thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. Thank you. And welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. SE has it as mandatory mod. Yep, that's what I thought. Uh, Midden, if I didn't already say so, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Alright, so I think I just have to do the stations now. Um, so this is X-ray only. X-ray... X-ray. And this one is radio and gamma. Radio, gamma. And radio, gamma. Why are they not in the same order? And then the only thing I need to change is the station output names. X-ray. Uh, 
Oh, this station is totally unnecessary. I think I'm happy with this. Normally I would, would have an output station down here, but like... This way we've got all of these and all of these groups together. And we don't have that weird zigzag. Alright, so this one is Gamma Ray. Gamma Ray Observation Data. And this one is Radio Wave. Okay. Are we finally done with this uh, samey set of builds? Let's blueprint. We do have all the wire connections, right? There's nothing new to... oh. I mean, I could have just removed that at the blueprint stage, but still. Nothing new to add or change. Alright. X-ray, radio wave, and gamma ray. Um, data. I'll just say data. 86251 is our snap to grid. It doesn't look like we have to remove anything here. And that's our blueprint. Okay. So we've got the astrometric data, the... I haven't actually done... Let's do the catalogs. Before I do, let's check back into the real world. How's our pollution? Yeah, look at that. See these two tiles right here? And these ones for that matter? Um, they're not directly having pollution deleted, but... That's where it's getting dropped off to. Yeah, that's where it's sinking. It is going to take a while. To have much of an impact. Looks like the whole block is working now though. Okay. Have we had uh, biters attacking much lately? It's all meteorites. Nope, oh, there's some biters. Four hours ago was the last big attack, so when I aggroed them, basically. Okay. Let's do... Uh, I'm blanking on the word catalogs, because I want to get some perspective on... I, I want to zoom out a bit and, and see what Astro looks like, if that makes sense. I'm pretty sure it's going to be... Astrometric data has to come in here directly, and these three do as well. Huh. Well... That's already done, because we use a rail block system. But what kind of rate are we looking at? Three or so per second. 3.3 per second. Yeah, I think we've actually got a pretty sensible rate for these things. What about broad catalogs? What? How did it select no recipe? After all that. Alright, broad catalogs. We're looking at X ray and microwave as well. I'm definitely glad we built at least that many machines so far. Okay. So it's visible, infrared, UV, and then astrometric. 
visible. Uh, infrared. Wait. Was it infrared? Yeah, it was. EV astrometric. And of course, negative 100 degree thermofluid. Uh, and this one is microwave x-ray and then the two cool looking ones, grav and grav. And that's already done, that doesn't need changing. Microwave, x-ray, grav, and grav. So, does radio wave, radio wave and gamma ray, I assume they go into the next tier as well, I could be wrong. Yeah, they go into comprehensive, uh, apart from also going into astrometric data. But normally the first four things... Oh, it is. The first four things are tier one, the second four things are tier two. So we're kind of going further than we need to. Uh, making these cards already. I wonder if I even have the recipe for them. Radio and... Uh, I don't. Okay, that's fine. Um, and we need to set filters on these as well. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Copy, paste, flip for the symmetry. And then microwave, x ray, grav, grav. Grav and grav. Beautiful. Um, so this one will be catalog one. And this one will be catalog two. Simple as that. Oh, I didn't do the station names yet. Then the first four. Pretty sure astrometric data goes into some other stuff as well. Catalog one, dark energy data, gravitational lensing data, gravity wave data, that makes a lot of junk. And negative pressure data. It, this is a lot, actually. But it's not that difficult to make it quickly. As long as the prereqs are supplied. Alright, that's our blueprint. Catalog 1 and 2. Good to go. Fantastic. Let's put it here. And is that everything? For tier two at least. I need to do tier three as well. Oh, we need the observation frames in the first place, and then we need the telescopes um, to turn the observation frames into specific observation frames. Oh, that's so much. 
Okay. All right. Okay. Scaffolding. Um, I guess I'll start with the observation frames. Unloader here. It's probably going to be a very small build, actually. Then again, we need lots of them, don't we? I'm pretty sure there's two buildings that can make these. Nope, only one. Oh, huh, okay. And we can do it with steel or beryllium. Hmm... Oh, the beryllium gives us twice as much. Yeah, we're definitely doing it that way. Even if beryllium is a little slow for the moment. Alright. I'm pretty sure we've already got that recipe. I'll just double check. Um, how about this? Wait, are we even using this? No, we're not. Aurelian. Uh, wait, what am I doing? Frame. Aurelian plate. There we go. I think we used it in the spaghetti build already. But I might have switched it back because we were struggling for a little while. It's still making it, even though we haven't been doing research for a while. Damn. I mean, I guess. Okay. We do have a lot more steel than beryllium, but... Well, I don't want to make this build twice in the rail network. If we need more barrel, we'll just get more barrel. I want to scale this for something. I mean, I guess we could... We could build it for steel and then change it. I just have to empty out the input. How much barrel do we have lying around right now? Oof. Owie. Ouch. Ow. I don't like it. Not good. Um. Yeah, barrel... Oh no. One hour ago, or more like two hours ago, but one hour ago we stopped getting barrel core fragments entirely. Uh, good thing I checked on it. What's the problem? Exorion. We've got all the barrel core fragments here, actually. And we've got plenty of fuel, and we're ready to launch. So the problem's on Hagen. I don't... I really don't want to go down these rabbit holes right now, but... Wait, this is full of barrel. What's the problem? Oh, you're kidding me. There's actually a problem with this build? Well, that's relatively... Oh. Hieroflux? We've been saturated on pyroflux for ages. Don't tell me Vulcanite Core Fragments. Oh. Oh, no. That is not a graph I want to see. And it wasn't even during this stream. It was nine hours ago. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so this is full, but it doesn't have liquid rocket fuel. Did we run out of crude oil? I bet that's it. Yeah, I took it for granted that our crude oil would last forever, and now it's gone. Um, we've got like 6 million right here. Should be relatively easy to train to. Um, here we've got several million. 
But yeah, if I if I had a do over, if I was starting again, um, on the waterless planets, I think I probably would go with sending ice. Well, not even on the waterless planets. Uh, the only difference is on the waterless planets, I would send ice, which I have to do anyway, and it turns out we're gonna pay about that much water any uh, either way. But I would have done these um, water separation builds to make rocket fuel based on ammonia. I would have done that on every little planet um, for our cargo rocket stage. So that the... Uh, so that we don't have to worry about this finite oil running out. It happened on Exorion. Um, and now we're sending solid rocket fuel to Exorion because that was just easier for now. Uh, but yeah, having to tap another crude oil build, not my idea of a good time. Tofik, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This is more drama than T-Hacks getting hit by train. What? It's the opposite of a Christmas miracle? Oh no. How many of these do I need? Twelve? Plus, probably double that, if not more. Do we have pump jacks lying around? We do not. I could make some, but I could steal them from here first. It's probably the way to go. Don't need the rocks. Let's get our construction train to pay that a visit. Hey, Dardano. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Where is this build? Wait. Oh, there it is. It's all red now. I think? No, we can just go here. Wait for inactivity. How many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Where's our other oil that we've tapped? I guess technically I could process slash delete core fragments here in order to get the oil from the vanilla core fragments. Realistically though, no. Uh, let me just blacklist trees slash rocks. There we go. I don't think the construction train can reach that far. Well, we're going to find out. Where's our train now? Back to base? Fantastic. Wait, where are you actually? No, come here, come here, come here. That... That was the wrong spot, wasn't it? Wait here a sec. No, that is... Exactly the right way to go. Alright. I don't know... What kind of equipment... I gave you. Ooh, the good stuff. Fantastic. We may yet reach up here with the RoboPort. Oh, beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. That's a little bit less hassle. I should probably make this inactivity a little bit longer, just to be safe. Uh, we're full. Okay. How about you wait here for, like, um, five minutes, so that the bots can come back. Alright, while we wait for that, let's do a little building. Let's grab our usual beacon.
which apparently I don't have in my inventory, surprisingly enough. Grab some speeds and efficiency. Negative 80%. Wait, what? Negative plus 90%. That's not what I'm looking for. Negative 80%. Uh, and that is bog standard. Let's go for negative 80. Okay. If I fit as many of these as I can, I'm sure it's going to be ridiculously overkill. Let's find out. 304 frames per second. That's not bad. That that's decent. That would be how many belts? Six point seven six. On the other hand, we know that we do need a lot of these per second. I might just uh leave this side blank and potentially like leave room for upgrading. Sure, why not? It's only four machines. Uh, let's do a loader down here. And... So it's one in, one out for solids, right? No, it's three in, one out for solids. What am I thinking? Uh, slightly more than a red belt for each resource. That's no trouble. So, less than a half belt on each side for each input. E like this. Let's see. If I do this side to this side, and this side to this side, oh, I think that's probably a terrible idea. Uh, and we do need light oil as well. 304 per second isn't actually that fast, but it's faster than most things. Let me put it up here. Uh, thermo fluids are always so slow. Most of the space stuff is slow with the fluids. Alright. So on each side it's like 152. That's no trouble at all. Um, and we want... Let's just do one belt coming out of each of these. Simple. And we can put a splitter here, which will be the first step of a big balancer. Uh, I think I would like it to take up a little less space, though. At least like that. This is probably fine. Let's put one of these down here. Or oh, how about this? That would kind of be more clear. I've got an 8 to 8 balancer or two lying around, but they are rather bulky. 
I'm thinking a big container would probably be a lot better. Except, of course, it wouldn't necessarily balance. Unless... Unless... Oops. If I were to... Limit each of these two... To one cargo wagon each. And this is... Provides tech threshold 100. Uh, we could also even let LTN know what's in here. Then... Yeah, that should be fine. That kind of acts as our balancer. And it's a lot tidier. Then again, hmm, technically, if we have a hundred stacks, if this fills up a little faster, train takes from here, both of these are filling up, it could ask for... Yeah, I think I'll just... Just allow one train load to fill up. It does stack to 200, right? Yeah, it does. Okay. So this is like still less than one stack per second. Like but more than 50 seconds to fill this. Isn't that all the, me all the more reason not to do it this way? Because with the high throughput, the time that it takes the train to react is actually significant. That said, we're only doing like 1.5 stacks per second. Which is kind of fast, actually. Yo, Hex, Varakfall, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Uh, if I have to use a proper balancer, thing is, it's going to get big and messy. Well, not like that. We don't need that kind of balancer. Um, 8x to 8x? Here we go. 8 to 8. I don't think I've got a space version of this. There's another kind of 8 to 8, but I think it's not, like, throughput unlimited. But would that, would that even matter here? Here we go. Yeah, this is the same... No, it's not. That's also an 8 to 8. But I think, uh, I'm pretty sure this one doesn't have unlimited throughput from any given input to any given output. Merry Christmas, thank you. Doing good on you? Uh, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad, thanks. Merry Christmas to you as well. Um... That's that that's still huge though. Look at this. Okay, so if this has to fill up and LTN doesn't know about what's in here, then it's going to take uh 90 180 items per second. Uh, 
Uh, it's going to take almost a minute to be ready to load another train before LTN can schedule a stop. I think we just... I think we just bump up the provide stack threshold. And we tell LTN what's in this container. So that we have, um... We have a buffer in case of that imbalance issue. Also, can I actually kind of put this in the middle? It's not going to look that good, actually. How many belts did I say it was? Uh, 304... Over 45... It's a bit under 7 belts, so it's not like we can do... Th Three on each side. That doesn't even fit. I could move it up a bit. But could I sort of make this a bit more symmetrical, maybe? To be clear, every single input and output is needed, right? And then we couldn't use this one. I did say we need a bit less than seven belts, but this wouldn't be balanced. Maybe we could use a splitter here, but then... But then... It wouldn't be any better than just connecting this here. So surprisingly tricky. Uh, what if I used a bigger container? That might help. Good grief. What a monstrosity. So if we have one, two, three, four in, one, two, three, four out, for example. on this side, but we do have room to do that. Wait, what? Oh, I see. Kind of want this... Nope, there's no way. Let's do it like that. Shrine to the spaghetti gods. Yeah, that might be as good as it gets. Just because we've got this three tile gap in the middle. I guess this could just go straight here. Might look a little bit tidier. And maybe group this over here, just for the look of it. That, that feels better. And this is as far to the left as it can get. 
Oh, sorry, as far to the right as it can get. Okay. And then... Uh, we need a couple of half belt inputs and another half belt, but that may as well be a full belt. It's only 30 per second for coal. Why don't I move all this in a little bit? And individually... 3.8 per second, but for each resource. Uh, we might need superior long inserters. And I was thinking... Well, a stack insert is probably enough. But it might be more UPS friendly to use a loader. Just like that. Can this even reach across the beacon, though? Nope. Maybe... Like that. Oh, that does actually leave a gap for that. Okay. And then... Except we don't need this part. really necessary. Well, it looks reasonably tidy. I could do... What resource do I want to put in the middle? Barrel? I think if we're going to bottleneck on something because we don't have it, it's going to be barrel. I'd like to just see that first. First thing when I come looking. Beryllium plate. And then... Hole and glass. Let's do glass here. And coal. May as well move that over a tile since we have the space. You've forgotten underground belt in the middle... Oh, true. Thank you. Jacobaz, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I don't want this, like, here. And I'll put this closer. And I can't quite do it like that. That'll do, I guess. Only looks a little odd. Let's do our inputs. Nice and easy this time. Set filters blacklist. Copy paste. And we need the fluid as well. But the belts look fine. In fact, I'm curious as to whether a long arm inserter would keep up, a regular one. 
The only thing I don't like about these superior long inserters is they're kind of hard to see, especially against the scaffolding. The train loader slash unloader mod you have is almost making me want to use it in my playthrough, indeed. Can relate. Please make the middle one... two bends? What, you mean like, uh, bring it further down? Like that. I guess if I keep them this far apart, that looks tidier. That looks very deliberate. I like that. Shmua, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, time for our pipes. Can they reach if we do a 3B like so? They can. Fantastic. And then we need some... That's going to be one too many tiles, isn't it? Yep. How about this? Seems good. I could add a pump there. Don't think it's necessary. That'll be a three, won't it? Uh, nope, not even close. I think I was thinking of, uh, some more commonly sized machines. Uh, how many tiles is this? Six figures. How about we just do some underground? Okay. And I kind of want this one to not have random undergrounds or pipes sticking out. Let's do our fluid input. Light oil, I believe it was. And apparently it's doing some weird favoring the left side. There we go. That looks pretty good to me. And we'll just tell LTN everything that's here, but limit these two to one cargo wagon each, and set a higher provide stack threshold to account for any weirdness um, while the train is loading. Alright, hopefully that's the only one of those builds we'll ever need to make. If we need to make another one, we'll just put it here. And let's get rid of a bunch of this uh, scaffolding. And we'll put a little bit of it back just for the look of it. I don't mind these gaps though. How about this? I kind of think there should be space here. Makes it a lot more clear where the belts are. That looks pretty good. And that is pretty speedy. How fast are we consuming again? 30, 30, 30. It's not that fast. 
Well, it is the beryllium plate recipe. It's halving the cost of everything else. Are red inserters enough? Uh, no. No, they're not. That's why we've got these gaps in the belt that are bigger than expected, actually. Can I upgrade plan regular logarm inserters? Ooh, I can. Nice. Uh, we've ha we have actually researched these inserters, I just haven't made them yet. I thought it would be easier to do it in person, but I've been sitting on Nalvis this whole time. Yeah, not a whole lot of gap in this. Very mesmerizing pattern. Yes, master. Right away, master. Let's blueprint. Uh, let's do the LTN inputs, actually. Uh, we need some light oil. Having a reserve of 40k before we look for more seems fine to me. Kind of messes with the eyes, yeah. Especially, like, if I'm focusing around here, or here, or here, the corners in particular look different because of how it does the... Because of how it does the ones that are further south on the belt in front of the ones that are further north. It changes when it gets... It, it, it's like how the flow of water looks and sounds different when it hits different conditions. It's kind of neat. Alright, so our three inputs are in equal part coal, glass, and beryllium plate, but they all have different stack sizes. But they're all only about 30 per second, so I think it's fine to just say a couple of train loads each. Well, that's what we can comfortably fit anyway. Veldak, thank you very much for the gifted subs. Much appreciated. And for the 56 of them in total, wow. Uh, Cylindril, Jacobez, Th Thendria, Moak, and Zedius. Hope you appreciate. Hope you like. Thank you so much. Oh no, I was hypnotized. <laughs> More hypnosis. Hey, yeah, there we go. Uh, Merry Chris, Merry Dingens. Okay, Night Dancer. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much again, Baldak. How much is two train loads? 50 times 100 times 2. 10k. Um, glass is going to be 4 times that. Is it actually 40k? Let me double check it. Beryllium plate is also 40k, actually. I thought it was, um... I thought beryllium plate stacked to 100. Well, I really don't think we need to summon that much, honestly, considering it gets consumed at 30 per second. Uh, let's just go with, like, 30k. A train load and a half. And we'll ask for more coal. Or I could literally just make sure they get they all get summoned with the same amount remaining. Considering they all get consumed at the same pace, that might not be the best idea. Triggering three trains at once. Um, so if we've got 150 stacks, 150 stacks. Uh, 75, 75... Yeah, we can do half of it for coal. Can we? Did I miscalculate? Oh, that's 150 stacks. 
So out of, let's say, 600. Uh, yeah, we've got like 300 stacks for coal. Well, we already did two train loads. Ah, oh, whatever, let's go 15. I don't want this to stop. Fifteen thousand compared to the thirty thousand for these other two. Oh wow, it's already saturated. Yeah, let's blueprint this thing. A hundred stack threshold is more than a train. Normally, yes, but we've got these uh, space cargo wagons and space fluid wagons also. Um, but both the cargo and the fluid ones have 25% more, um, storage capacity. Um, if I'd thought about it, if I'd known that I was probably or definitely gonna upgrade to these eventually, uh, I wish I had just gone through and done this size request provide threshold to begin with. Because going through all the combinators um, and changing them and upgrading, thing, upgrading them and occasionally not noticing when the request amount was less than 100 stacks, that was not a great time. Yeah, it's 40 or 50 for each cargo wagon. Uh, but yeah, that should be it. And then we're going to set the station name, coal, glass, and beryllium plate, and also light oil. Requester goes into space manufacturing, and out comes, out comes blank observation frame. It honestly feels weird that this doesn't produce scrap. So many things, especially that we have to produce a ton of, produce scrap in space. But I'm glad it doesn't. Just once. Right, blank observation frame. Snap to grid, 86.25.1. And maybe I should actually go build this one. I still need to do the intermediate step of turning the frames into the inputs for these things, which is uh, a whole process. Considering the raw resources that go into it, I think I'd like to have it close to the space elevator. They're not that fast though, I don't think it matters that much. Stack size is huge as well. I think this is the least of our worries for making sure we keep it um, close to things. Only 30 per second for all those things. Coal, I mean, that's more than half a stack of coal, but that's still relatively small fry. Especially when you compare it to things like uh, uh, material testing packs. Tensile strength and compressive. Also, output is like three times the train loads of the input. That's true, yeah. Okay. I think I will take a little break there. Uh, let me just make sure our base isn't destroyed. Fantastic. Seems good. How's our pollution? The severity of the cloud, especially in this direction, uh, is a lot less. 
but this alone is obviously not enough. Andor is just going to take a while to catch up. Oh, those trees are eating the pollution. I thought there might be biters there. Alright, I'm going to save right here. And we'll do some LTN screensaver on the main planet. Fire up some words on stream. Beldak will cheer. And I'll go get some hydration and such. Alright. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay. How'd we do? Nicely done. Let's continue with space exploration, shall we? We're in... We've got plenty of filters here now. Um, remains to be seen. I mean, it's going to take a long time to find out exactly how much of an impact on the pollution this thing has. It's a little bit too far from the center of this mine, I think. What if I were to try... Okay. So filters go in, nasty filters come out. We could do this somewhere centrally. And we don't actually need any fluid input or output on the spot. Yeah, I should have designed a little block where we just... Well, not even block, but a little station. Where we just drop off filters and pick up used filters. I guess we could do that for the science. But I really want to continue with the space uh, science stuff. So we've now got... Uh, we've got Astro Catalog 1 and 2, we've got the inside, we've got the blanks. We don't have the step where we make the frames that are not blank. And we do have everything we need for Tier 3 other than the actual catalogs and other than the part with the um, telescopes. But pollution wanders and tries to even out with other chunks, yes. It's a bit like creating a pollution hole where everything flows to, exactly. Alright, let's place our block here, and scaffolding. And sneeze. Fantastic. Um, and we need to make these observation frames. I think we need all of these for the tier 3. Yeah. Yeah, we need all of them for the tier 3. Uh, Astro Sciences, which is what we're going for. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these we need to do one by one. Um, and I think I remember these taking up a lot more space for the speed. Let's just go left to right, even though they're not in the same order. We need radio telescope. Microwave telescope, as expected. Regular telescope, regular telescope. Regular telescope. X-ray telescope. And gamma ray telescope. I think two of these are the same size, and two of them are a different same size. So we can kind of do a copy-paste build there. Let's put our beacon right about here. And obvious layout is obvious. In fact, I don't really think we can do better than that with this size rail block if we want to keep it in a half block. Um, so was there... Yeah, radio telescope, I'm pretty sure. Has the same size. I think we'll do those next to each other. 
with a copy paste for the uh, fluid and belts, probably. Yep. They have exactly the same inputs, as a matter of fact. What was I looking for? Oh, uh, modules. And efficiency and speed. Negative 70% seems good. My math, sa my math says I have over 10,000 cogs. What should I do? Cog party? My math says I need 10 times more negative pressure data machines than visible observation data machines. Uh-oh. Coggers, indeed. Uh, okay, so... I think we need three bees for this to reach consistently. Yep. Let's do that layout. And... So on. Input stops here. Output stops here. And what's our rate? 3.4 in, 3.4 out. That's super slow. Everything here is super slow. We can do whatever we want with the belts and stuff. There's also no waste outputs except for, unless you count thermo fluid. Um, so the whole thing only needs 12 blank frames per second. We're going to need a lot of these, aren't we? Pretty sure we're going to need a lot of these. I'm thinking we do one of these builds per... Uh, per rail block. And we make it fit one way or the other. Can we at least... I could do 12 on each side. Unfortunately, I can't do 16 on each side. Oh, I can actually flip that. That's good. I could do it closer like this, but like... It's not like I can fit another one. I could do the beacon on the outside as well. Then we wouldn't have to... I don't think there's any risk... Oh, if I brought them both closer, there'd be beacon signals. Okay, let's flip this one. And... This is actually output on this side. And I think we just copy-paste flip here. That looks pretty tidy to me. I'll have to have input and output for this one, or these two, it could be, between the two of them. That's not too bad, fitting 24 of these in one block seems okay to me. So how fast are we talking here? Uh, 20.4 per second, sure. If we have to make multiple, we have to make multiple. Right then, I think I'll do this for the input fluids. How far can this jump across? 
eight tiles, really? Why not just look at nine? That's gonna look a bit tidier, I think. Give me a onesie. That looks pretty tight, uh, tidy. I like where that's going. And then we have the one, two, three places to get the input fluid. We can do whatever we like with belts and pipes, it's all rather slow. I could even do a half belt, one half belt for input, one half belt for output. The only reason I really don't like those is the way we have to do, like, get the final product away. It, it It's hard to not have a bit of stuff sticking out. In fact, it's kind of impossible. Let's do our input here. And output. This should be really slow individually, right? Oh yeah, less than one per second. Output like so. And I really don't need multiple belts for this part. It's a pity. I could put it here, but like that's just gonna look tacky. It's gonna look, it's gonna look more tacky. Is what I really mean. Alternatively, if I did the half and half, I could, for instance, only allow blank observation frames to get there, then we've got an insert of picking up off the splitter, and an output belt here. That's even worse, actually. Yuck. Gross. Awful. What am I going to do here? Whatever. Just, just do that. Put on this side. Seems good. Copy paste flip. And then I don't think we need more than one output station at 20 per second, with a stack size of 200. I wish I could set it up so that the trains could come from either direction to pick up from a station. This goes here. That goes there. We only need one input station. And... How much fluid do we go through? 102 per second, not that much. We don't even... really need to balance this or anything. Me as well, though. Alright, 
let's just ask for slightly more than a train load. Um, of frames. It takes 10 seconds to go through one stack. Twenty thousand is one train load. Let's just up it by ten percent. I think I was muted, sorry about that. Let's not forget to connect this. And then... I might just... What would be the tidiest way to do this? I'm spending more time than I should. We've got so many builds to do. But what's the point if they don't look nice? We only need one belt for everything. Why don't we just use splitters? Like it's our first time making a mine or something. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's confirm everything works. Uh, I guess I'll need... No, I really don't need more than one of these. And thermofluid. Let me put this... Right here. Negative 273 degree. Fantastic. Look at those telescopes fly. We'll need to get the thermofluid. Ooh. That should be a pretty tidy way to connect them. Uh, and then we need output as well. These use both sides. The, well, it's only 20 per second. But what if we make it a lot faster one day? Let's just use both sides of the belt equally. And we'll put the usual chest. And the usual belts going to said chest. And I think I'll put a merger here. Oops. You don't have input inserters in the middle on the right? Oh, true. Thank you. I kind of don't like that there. There we go. Alright, pretty straightforward. Pretty tidy. Let's set our station names and stuff. Blank frame requester. Also this thermofluid. Goes into... Big 
orange telescope and out comes microwave observation frame. And this is just called microwave observation frame provider. Oh, it should be an active actually. So we're going to do the thermofluid pickup here. I don't think I'm ever going to use a short train to pick these up. And then we need to connect all the output thermofluid. Come to think of it, we could probably do what we did down the bottom. Should look pretty nice. Uh, that's not working quite the way I imagined. How about this. And then that doesn't connect here. Uh, fine, I'll do an underground here. Oh, that doesn't reach. Wait, what? Yes, it does. You can't fool me. Alright, so if this goes here, this goes here. Don't forget this one. And down here we have this noise. All of that should end up here. No? Oh. 9.4k seems like it. And then this just finds its way down here. And that is a surprisingly decent bit. Cool. How many tiles is this? Oh. Could do a fiver there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, but we need that to connect. That's fine. So this is 25 degree thermofluid, and also microwave observation frames. Some of my builds have one beacon to cover twice the amount of machines? What? Oh yeah, yeah, because you're not constrained by the half... Uh, the half block here. Like, I could do one beacon in the middle with 16 machines around it, but I'd rather get 24 out of these two in the one block. Overall, I definitely don't regret making the smaller rail blocks, but a couple of things like this right here have made me wish I made it ever so slightly bigger. Undead Hunter, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so that is our microwave observation frame build. Let's space it up. And add a little bit more scaffolding than the minimum, just because otherwise it'll look really sketchy.
I think I'll do it like this, actually. That seems fine. And I think that's our build. Cool, cool, cool. Microwave. Let's just call it microwave frame. I think I've already removed the cheat items. At least for a first try, good luck, I would say, try one or the other by itself. Both at the same time might be a little harder than expected. Uh, what do we mean? Oh, at Murphy? K2SE? I don't think it's that much of a difference in terms of difficulty. Maybe I'm wrong. All right, uh, so that's our microwave frames. Let's put all these on the same... Actually, we're going to need like seven of these, aren't we? Should make a blueprint book just for these. All right, so now we get rid of those and replace them. My inventory is crying. with radio telescopes. And the exact same size and shape should be fine. I just need to change this. Oh, Oh, it, it does take blanks in, regardless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's already the build. That's it. I didn't compare the rates, actually. They're exactly the same. Except for thermofluid. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so that's our build already. We just need to update this. Radio telescope. Thank you, thank you. Uh, and radio observation frame. Radio wave. And station name. Alright, two down, five to go, I think. Two of them are like these two in that they'll have the same size and shape, I think. And then three of them we probably want to do together, perhaps. Uh, let's not forget to blueprint it. That would be ungood. Radio frame. There's no other kind of radio frame, right? It's not like gravity. With gravity waves and gravity something. I should probably be upgrading my solar panels by now, but... Lazy... Alright, that's that one done. Uh, that should probably be... Maybe I should have the... The telescope symbol for this. Like, these two are unique in that respect. It's much more noticeable. And then... 
let's do a couple of builds for the smaller but not smallest telescopes. Scaffolding go brr. And I imagine we'll be doing the same thing with thermofluid. Uh, let's see. Gamma ray. And the other one was X-ray. Are they the same speed as well? Nope. I would not say not even close. It's kind of close. This one's three quarters the speed of this one. We'll just try giving them half a block each and see if that's enough. Let's start with our usual beacon. Whoops. Negative 70% power consumption. Fantastic. Oh, th is this going to be a nuisance to put together closely? Two in, two out for this one. What about you? Two in, two out as well. Yep. I kind of want to put the more exotic and slow and expensive one on the right. I imagine we're going to be able to put more than enough machines for this one. I didn't even rate calc the last one. 54 per second? Probably... Probably we're going to be able to go way faster than we need to for this one. Could be wrong. I'll build it big and we can always trim it down. Or I could even remove some machines at first when we actually build it. So individually these are 3.4 per second, 0.28, 3.4 plus 0.28 in and a little bit less out. Okay. I think we've got plenty of room to like... Oops. To do the IO like this. Problem is the amount of stuff needed Spaghetti becomes impossible. Indeed. There's plenty of places where you need to be creative with the um, with the rail blocks. When you're doing SE, don't worry, you'll you'll have plenty of opportunities to be creative. Uh, let's do our outputs on the output side and our inputs on the input side. How fast are our inputs between these two columns? Wait, how many? How much output do we have here? Over two belts. Well, we can definitely probably trim it down to less than that. For starters. Leave room for easy expansion on the off chance that we actually want more than this. So less than two belts in, less than two belts out. How much uh, frame do we want here? Almost a whole belt. And a tiny amount of multispectral mirror. That doesn't work out that well. I do have a few more tiles horizontally. It's 
So we could do the multi-spectral mirrors down the middle. And then we would need two belts on this side. And two belts on this side. That works out well. That's fine. What? Is that all of the inputs? believe it is, but how are we going to do the fluids if we do it like this? And so we're not. What the scaffolding? All right. I can find a way around that. That's not going to pose much of a problem. And then, and then we don't have enough room for it for IO. Okay. Um, I don't think we need this many machines though. Why don't we just? use more of the space that we've got. Like that? Yeah, I think that's fine. It's only just enough room, unless I were to do the fluids from the side. We're not doing that. Alright, so input looks like this. Output, of course. Looks like this. You can actually flip these. That's unusual. Oh, I see. The flip isn't changing the belt direction. Because, of course, it's not. I think I'll put these up here. It's fine. What? Oh, I th think I see. Yeah, this goes here actually. Okay. 
need to do the input station. How fast is all of this? Two belts and a little bit. Fair enough. That is not an input station. Do we need any fluid? Yes, we do. Underground missing near Beacon. Oh, it doesn't reach. Also, this is missing, yeah. Oh, no. Um. Oh, wait, I can... No, I can't. Wait, how far in can I put this? Far enough. Let's put it over to the side. I think I'd prefer it in the middle, as long as it's not going to encroach on this side, which it's not. That seems okay to me. Cool, that's, that's pretty tidy, actually. Alright, so... I guess... I know I don't need that much. It's only one belt on each side for the frames. So I could take it from here and split it. I just wish that station wasn't in the way. I would do it out like this. I wonder what's more UPS friendly, a splitter or another loader? That should be in here. No, it shouldn't. Plank frame, plank, plank frame. Uh, and what's the other thing called? Multi spectral mirror. Let's see how that looks. With the usual input trick, set filters blacklist, copy settings. I don't think I mind this. That seems okay to me. Forget the thermo fluid. Actually, how about a seven? It's not too bad. That's input. This is also input. So is this. Except that doesn't go anywhere convenient. I'll just double check that the thermo fluid is as slow as it usually is. It is. How about we connect these down here? And... Bring you up 
this way. And that's obviously not going to work. How about... We could either connect it up here or down here. I think up here works. How many tiles is this? 5, 10, 13, I think. Yeah, 13 tiles. That seems okay. Let's check. It's negative 273. Fantastic. Considering the problems we ran into so far, this is a pretty neat looking build. What temp does it come out? 25. Good. Fantastic. Um, what rate does it come out? Nearly two belts. Do we want to... Oh, we need to have a scrap output. Oh no. Well, I could... Hmm. I can obviously have the other... Uh, the, the gamma ray observation frames out here. But the build is going to take all of that space. I can't really put a station in here. I mean, we kind of can. I don't think it would look too good, though. What if we had the scrap pickup up here? No, because we need a different input. And we need a lot of throughput for the blank observation frames. Maybe I will squeeze a station up here for the scrap. Let's see what this looks like. Um, I lost my my purple telescopes. No, there's nothing, nothing here. That's silly. Okay. So this one goes here, I think. And then the station's going to be the mirror image, except we don't need enough thermofluid drop off. Um, obviously, the output is going to go to here. I think we need to try. Oh, we can do it like this. I think that's going to be pretty easy, actually. To have our scrap in, uh, scrap output down here. Let's grab the blueprint. Right in the middle. And just put some signals there. Very neat, actually. Um, I kind of probably sort of would like to have this here. Can we get past it? Just barely. And I kind of want that to line up in the same way. This one just won't. Wait, how much... This is more than more than one belt, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I c 
could bring them all toward the middle and then push down, I guess. Might look neater. Wrong output? Wrong output. Oh, that's the input. Yeah, good point. Alright. And this will need a little under... Wait, no, this is the input. What? Oh, they're both input. What am I thinking? Uh, yeah, we've already got two belts pretty close to the middle, right? Like that. That's, uh... Not that difficult a decision, actually. Oh, even better. Let's do it like this. What are you laughing at? How dare you? I'm gonna cry. Let's limit this to... I know, I know, I forgot about the scrap. Split the scrap away. Split the scrap away. How much scrap do we get out of one side? Barely anything? What's the neatest way to do this? I don't need to use both sides of the belt, I just don't want bits getting stuck. Oh, how about... How about... Or something. That's fine, I guess. Except maybe move it down a touch. And this could go here. And then this could go here. That looks a lot neater. That's much better. And then, same thing over here. I think. It should actually be symmetrical. Oh, it, a little bit off symmetrical. As close as possible, anyway. And we want... And this, and I guess there's no need for the underground on this side, but there's the symmetry of it. And we'll be needing some some pipe here as well. But then we have to get it all the way over here also. What's the neatest way to do that? Not this way. Uh, let's just go up here. Maybe a 15, maybe a 3, that's not a 3, 15, 16, 17, 5, 5, 7. That seems better, honestly. Um, and then we need our test inputs. 
Let's just put one here. And we'll need some filters. Except this will be purple. What is that doing? Oh, I see. This will be the purple version. Gamma ray detector. And that should basically be the build. You know this works. We've got enough thermo fluid. That's looking fine. And we can limit these two as well. Is this busted? Yeah, it is. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I kind of, now that I think of it, if we're going to have a scrap output, I would like to have the thermo fluid output up here. If I can. That can only go to 100k, but that should be fine. Twenty-five three thermo fluid. Oops. You don't need the undergrounds in the middle anymore since you moved the beacon. Uh they don't reach though without it. That's the problem. So I, I would need some kind of undergrounds. And let's go down here as well. That's pretty tidy. Now we just need the outside thermo fluid to find its way there. Probably going to connect this here. And pretty obvious, I think. Connect it up this way. Wait, what? Oh, right. Let me just get rid of all of that just to be sure. And judging by the fact that the inserters just started moving again as soon as I did that, um, that is probably getting it to work. So we've got scrap and thermo fluid in the middle, all the side outputs, and everything else has its own station. So this will be an active pickup. That's all correct. Scrap and thermo fluid. This is a regular all passive provider. Um, that seems fine to me. Red stack threshold 100. This is the purple frames. 
And this is the blue frames. Or a specific shade of blue. X-ray observation frame, I believe. Yes. Landfill is very, very bad in eating pollution. Worse than water. Only areas that have pollution on my moon are landfilled areas. Indeed. It's the only 3x3 chest. Yes, the uh, delivery cannon chest. Tom, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, so with bulk rail loaders and unloaders, if you put a chest like here, for example, um, it'll actually output its contents or take from, depending on if it's a loader or unloader. Um, so it's very convenient, potentially. Speaking of convenient... Let me empty my inventory somewhat. You know what, just all of it. We're, this is editor mode. It doesn't matter if I lose something. Alright, so what's our rate here? 81 versus 61. Should be more than enough, I would imagine. I would hope. Need wire for waste fluid. Good catch, thank you. And wire for input fluid as well. I think that's it. Let's tidy it up a little bit. There's going to be a lot of scaffolding for this build, even if I didn't fill in any, any gaps. That looks pretty sketch. as well connect that. I don't mind this so much. This, I don't know about. But it's such a waste of scaffolding to fill this in, I think. No, I think this is probably fine. Okay, autosave. All right. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. All right, let's blueprint. Did I do the station names? I did not. Nor did I do the LTN inputs. Okay. We need... Well, it's going to be the same ratios at least, except that there's fluid on this side. Um, couple of train loads of each? Sure, why not? Observation frame... 40k and uh, this thing, one quarter of that. 10,000. The ratios should be kinda. Not exactly similar, but yeah, yeah, that's fine. Alright. 
let's actually just remove that and change this to Gamma Ray Detector. Seems good. And station names. Whoops. Frame. Fluid. And also... Multispectral mirror. And gamma ray detector. Oh, I forgot to put what they're for. So that goes into blue telescope. And out comes... Uh, X-ray... Frame... And vice versa. Fantastic. Pretty sure these stations are done. Seems good. That's blueprint. And I believe that just leaves three, uh, the triple telescope that we might do in one build. Or at least I'll do one and a half block. Uh, let's see. We'll do the telescopes as our symbols. X-ray plus gamma ray frames. Night Chase VR, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Reached one million scaffold produced. Damn, okay. That is a milestone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you as well. Welcome in. I think that's everything. Snap to grid looks to be correct. And we're going to put that here. So that is three of our seven frames that we need. Um, do all of the rest of them go uh, come from... No, we've done four of them. What? Gamma ray, this thing, radio, and microwave. I thought we had an odd number left. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we've got five, six, seven to go. Which is, I believe, infrared, visible, and UV. The uh, The original three. Oh, and all of these take the exact same inputs. Slightly different speeds, I believe. Merry Crims, bro. Welcome, welcome. Joe, Joe, Joe Shabadu. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I've actually gone a bit more overtime than I already thought. Oh, I need to remove this as well. God damn it. Um, so that's going to be it for today, unfortunately. We, we are close, but not that close to our goal of getting Astro 3 done today. Yeah, I mean, it was a lofty goal. I think, uh, I think all the blueprints we churned out today uh, was a pretty good effort. Um, whoa, what are we doing with all these trains? What are you doing? It's trying to pick up dirty water. Oh, the blueprint didn't have... Dirty water. What? Hold on, what's this? 50k. Yeah, it's trying to pick it up. That should be greater than zero. There we go. Okay then. 
Let's see who's streaming. The old space exploration, perhaps? Blue Lightning, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for the stream. You're welcome. Thanks for hanging out. Not sure if you said that name right, T Hex. I feel there's more ooh at the end. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, I see. I see zero. Oh, I see one, at least. Two. There are two space expirations. I think I've raided Ten's dungeon before. Let's have a look. See if we can find a tiebreaker between these two. Like graphical quality? Nope. Actually, yes. Oh, this is right at the start. Like, right at the start. And this one's really early as well. What do you guys think? Early or super early? I feel like if you're tuning in for space exploration, you don't necessarily want the super early. This one's followers only chat? Okay, disqualified. Let's drop in on Ten's Dungeon. Maholic is very funny with saying names. He deliberately says everything in the name, yeah. Alright, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or the Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And till next time, stay safe. Uh, tomorrow we'll be continuing with uh, For the Worthy Terraria Master Mode with no boss fight arenas. Wherein I am still scratching my head as to how I'm going to beat the Wall of Flesh. I might... Okay, there's two ideas I have. I'm going to be either very aggressive before it gets... before and after it gets to the uh, Demon Town. Or I might even put in a teleporter that lets me skip the Demon Town. It's not exactly an arena, but it is preparation by building. It's kind of uh, kind of skirting that line a little bit if I go that far, I think. Take care, Veldak. Inri, Inri. Thanks for hanging out. And have a good night. Or day, or time zone. Take care, guys. Uh, okay, let's give it that one too.